Where's the music? Where's the music? Why, why isn't it, why isn't it playing music? <clears throat> okay, well, there's sound, at least. <laughs> at least that works. There we go. For some reason, resetting wasn't going back to this screen, so I couldn't figure out what was going on. Hey everybody, welcome to Lightning Round, day two, the second day of seeing how many games we can beat tonight in one stream. And uh, this one's gonna be a bit of a rough one, because a lot of the games we picked tonight are harder, to be perfectly honest. Uh, than the set we did on day one. Well, okay, not not all of them. I just remembered what else was on the list. <laughs> but we got a couple short games that are gonna be pretty challenging. We're gonna try it tonight. This is one I actually wanted to do back in January for Revenge because I had played this as a kid but never beat it. And uh, still not quite sure as an adult if I'm gonna be able to beat it, but we're gonna try our best. This is Double Dragon for the NES. Wait, do you mean we're not getting another Mr. Chin? Uh, um, actually. We might. We'll see. Uh, but I'm gonna give this a try, but before we hop in, I did see that, uh, Fury asked for the Wisdom of Duke Nukem. Duke, what do you got for Secret Fury? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Darn tootie. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Well, it wasn't Duke, but, uh, surprise, you gotta be for He's okay. Don't worry. The baby's okay. <coughs> Alright, let's give this a shot. Let's see what we can do. Oh, yeah, so there is, there's just no music on this screen at all. Alright, mode A one player, I think, is the only one. I actually don't know what B one player is. Game's real quiet? Wow, it's loud in my ears. Hang on, let me adjust some settings here then. Punch. Carry away. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Oh, right, B is versus mode. You're right, I forgot. Forgot you could even play the versus mode single player. Alright, Double Dragon 1, for the NES at least, is different from the arcade version in that it is a single player game. Uh, at least for the story mode, it's turn it, you take turns if you're doing the two player mode. And uh, it's also experience based. You get more moves the more you murder. I believe the experience points you get are based on what move you use to take people out. So we have to get to a specific strength level at the very least. Because there's some desperately needed moves later on that can make the game very easy. Oh shit. Or at least beatable, I think is the correct way to put it. I know there's like a back elbow that apparently is super broken. Yo Ghost Snyder, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you'll be here to see us beat Double Dragon 1, but uh, a little nervous based on all that menu shaking we just had. Admittedly, one other thing I probably should have done is uh, <coughs> actually looked up what moves you get per leveling up. That I actually should have figured out. There we go, we're level 2 now. Am I okay? Yeah, sorry, I just ate food. I came back from the vet with bagels, so I had to rush and eat dinner, basically. Alright, let's just go walk up the wall. And shimmy all back down, because that doesn't do anything. 
Is the boy okay? Yeah, he had to go in and get some shots done. He was he was up for some boosters. How do you take his shots? I mean, he didn't like them. We had to do one of them twice. But uh, he was otherwise all right. I'm going to back up that wall again because I can. Is there a game you aren't good at? Many. I just... Uh, like, sports games I'm terrible at, like, regular sports, like Madden. Simulation sports I'm bad at. Uh, RTS are hit and miss for me. I was decent at StarCraft, but not really good at any other one. Even then, I wouldn't even say I was the best at StarCraft. A Bobo! Goodbye! That's stage one. Oh! I was actually going to look up the manual to uh, see what I unlock for leveling up. Uh, wow, it doesn't. It says the moves, but it doesn't say what moves you unlock. Huh. Double Dragon has seven levels of technical skill. Each game starts at level one. At each additional level, you learn more fighting techniques. When your score reaches over 999, a heart mark will appear and you will go up one level. <clears throat> we have punch, headbutt, and which might be the one we just got. Kick. Eventually, we get jump kick, uppercut, low kick, hair pull kick, over shoulder throw, spin kick, pin attack, and elbow punch. Elbow punch apparently is the really good one. Oh yeah, that's headbutt we just got. Wow, the range on that sucks. Dodge my headbot! I'm coming towards you! You can't escape unless you duck slightly! Oh god. Also, I think our kick has slightly changed too now, because we got a high kick. Uh, I think we have jump kick now, which that'll be helpful. Damn it, I thought I was going to get him. I had hope. So apparently there's a glitch in this stage as well where you can basically grind for free experience. And it involves, like, spawning a character over here and then ignoring him using a baseball bat on the opposite side or something weird like that. Like, it's apparently some weird glitch, but it's a well-known one. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it's uh, not one I am aware of. It's like literally like you stand around here somewhere and there's just a hitbox you can hit for free dan for free experience. But I think you have to leave someone over there for it to work. Also doesn't help that we have like no health left. That's not good. Hey, none of that. Get out of here with that. Okay, so there's no ha there's no healing in this game, by the way. So, uh, yep. Oh, oh, hello. We're still up. Zero counts apparently. We've got to be very careful. We've got a whip now, at least, so we can defend ourselves. Just keep shooting that whip. Just go wild. Just let her climb down the ladder. Okay, we have like no health. I've got to be extremely careful. One hit could make the difference. <clears throat> uh oh, we lost our whip. All right. And stage two boss. And he's dead. 
Ta-da! I remembered a couple tricks, I just don't remember all of them. That's the problem. Oh shit, hang on. Drop something I shouldn't have dropped. There we go. Uh, okay. <coughs> I can't believe you killed a man by scrolling. I mean, it had to happen eventually. Now we have to be careful, because now we have to do platforming from here on out. And, uh, Double Dragon, not the best platforming game. Level 4, I don't know what move we've got. Probably the head butt, or the uppercut, if I had to guess. Oh no, we got the hair pull. And the throw. How many stages does this game have? Five, I believe? Four or five? Because I think the next stage is like a cave or something like that, and then the last stage is after that. Oh, there's the boss that we despawned earlier. He found his way to stage three. Wait, you never beat this on NES? No, I know. People are surprised, but I've never beaten Double Dragon 1. Not the NES one, anyways. How many hits do you take, sir? There we go. We gotta be careful, because we got a Bobo's coming up soon. I remember that much, at least. Man, this is bullshit. Why can he survive, but I why can't I when I scroll in Super Mario World? <laughs> because Nintendo doesn't like you. That's entirely it. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. The water. The water's insta kill, so we gotta be very careful. Because I remember the platforming being pretty jank here. Alright, level 5. Don't know what that got us. But I really need that elbow punch. Press the control pad to the left twice when the enemy is approaching from the left. Press the control pad to the right twice when the enemy is approaching on the right side. I think we got pin attack now. Which is approach the enemy when it's down, press control pad down and land to land on the enemy. Press the A button. Okay. Well, let's knock this guy down and see if that's what we got. Otherwise, we might have got, uh... Otherwise, we might have spin kick. Actually, I think that might be what you get at level 7. What's in the water that instantly kill you? Oh, it's just death water, that's all. That or just uh, Billy can't float. One or the other. Okay, yeah, no, we have we have mount. We have the UFC move. Alright, this should be a Bobo time? Nope. More of these guys. I know a Bobo comes out of this wall at some point. Ooh, yeah! It's double a Bobo! This is where we're gonna have some actual issues. Uh-oh. And how do we lose health when we were already falling? Oh boy. I don't know the trick to fighting a Bobo. We're dead. How far back? Oh, this is the checkpoint. Thank God, at least for that.
Is it just get really close to him, then do the jump? It looks like that might actually be it. Because he doesn't think to dodge if you're super close to him. Unfortunately, if I get too close to the other Abobo, then we have a problem. How many kicks does it take to beat up a Bobo? Cause holy shit! This is a lot of kicks! A Bobo for the love of God! One down. Oh, thank God. All right, we're past the Abobos. And our reward for doing that is a dude with a knife who missed, thankfully. I honestly thought it was going to be another Abobo knowing this game. Turn around, turn around, Billy! Oh my God! Billy, he's got a knife, you fool! Oh, we're in trouble. Oh, we're in trouble. That's both our lives. But now we're level six, whatever that means. No, no knife. My knife now. How come you get to take the knife and live? Oh, I do have elbow. I don't know how to use it correctly. Cast patrol pad to the right twice when the enemy is on the right side. That. That does not seem. Okay, I think I'm getting it. Okay, getting the time for that is weird. I'm pressing to the right and I'm attacking to the left. That's actually... Hmm. Get towards my killer elbow! Nope, oh, okay, or we both trip, okay. Oh my god, how long is stage three? Oh, fuck, I knew there was still one of these left. This is where our run's gonna actually end. Just as we finally got to level seven. No. You okay with tips for this game? Yes, please, by all means. Because, uh, otherwise we ain't getting through this one. Case in point. That's what I get for looking away to the chat. There is no continues in this game. I'm not even sure you can even earn one-ups in this game. I thought you could earn one. So, uh, yeah. We're back to the start again. You looped the level, you had to go in the cave. Oh, wait, shit. Which, what, the one of Bobo's broke? Oops. I thought that looked like it was repeating. Weird. All right, I'm gonna look at an actual move list on GameFAQs to see what the actual way of doing this is. 
for, like, the elbow in that, and what I do unlock. Don't punch me. Don't punch me. There's not gonna be one for, for NES, is there? Oh, may maybe. Uh, let's see here. You get uppercut and high kick at level two, jump kick at level three, hair grab and knee bash and shoulder throw at level four, straddle and sitting face punch at five, elbow punch at six, and spin kick at level seven. Single most devastating technique in this game and a quick way to make this difficult game quite easy. Every enemy in the game except for uh, two are suckers for this. Here's how it works. Walk close to the enemy but on a different vertical level. This is assuming a 3D portion of the game. The enemy will back up to put the appropriate amount of horizontal screen space between you and him or her and then walk vertically to get on your level. As the enemy comes to your level, throw an elbow punch. The enemy may duck. If so, move to a new level and repeat. Do not repeatedly throw elbows from the same location or Chin and a Boba will have you for lunch. If the first misses, move and try again. After three or four, the opponent will be hit. The four elbows will kill Chin and a Bobo, two for Roper, and just one for Will and Linda. Interesting. Okay. A while facing away from the opponent for the elbow punch. Whew. These are going to be rough. I want to see if I can remember. Does anyone remember how to do that glitch in uh, stage two? It's the first thing on Game Facts under cheats. Thank you, Wolflink. Enjoy. Barrel. Yeah, go get that barrel again. Take the whip. Okay, level two. Fight me up here, you cowards! Fight me up here! I love how useless that one wall is, but it's just so fun to climb. Alright, Bobo. Vibrate to your death. Okay, mission two. In mission two, after crossing the pit by climbing onto the fence and moving right, two enemies start walking towards you. When the one closer to the top of the screen almost walks past the girders, the red steel beams in the background, climb the fence and walk back past the pit and climb off the fence. Climb back on and head back to where the two Williams enemies were coming at you. Start kicking and punching where they were, and you'll start hitting the invisible ones. All right, I'll see if I can do this. Can't wait till I can learn how to kick while in midair. No. Okay. 
Move right. Two enemies start walking towards you, and the one closer to the top of the screen almost walks past the girders. The red steel beams in the background. So it's not you. When the one closer to the top of the screen almost walks past the girders, climb the fence and go back. Okay, so those are the girders. One guy spawned. There we go, they're both here. Climb the fence and walk back past the pit and climb off the fence. Okay. Now climb back on. And supposedly swing your bat around here. There we go. Free experience. There we go. Free experience of free points. If you want to get, was it, was it, fifty thousand in double dragon? I think was the uh, the bit from the wizard. Here's how you can do it. Because I gotta worry about the timer, I should only get to like level six. I don't want to burn this timer out and accidentally screw myself over. Here we go. We'll get level seven naturally, but we've got the elbow now, which supposedly is the winning strat if we learn how to use it. Yes, but the wizard did it on an arcade cabinet. Okay, fair point. Elbow! I'll take that. Just spawn and despawn. I guess I would have enough time to get to level 7 after all. Boss in. And boss out. Okay. Back to stage 3. Oh crap. Oh crap! Not the knife! That somehow got both of them. Nice. I love that even though I'm kicking him, he still manages to get in and do damage. Oh fuck, that knife does so much damage. Okay, like I said, elbow is really good if you can line it up. Well, he's hitting me though with that each time, isn't he? I've got like no health left.
He deflects you with his perfect pecs? I could believe it. So John, when are you going to continue your LPs? I do not know at the moment. I talked about it last stream, but basically there's too much going on in my real life right now to kind of be able to focus on it without feeling stressed. So they've been put to the wayside. I had stated originally that the LPs were always going to be secondary to streams. I just don't know. I just did not intend to be away from them as long as I have been between this break. So. So unfortunately, that's the only answer I've got. Sorry. Shit! John, when are we going to play hockey again on stream? Mm, I don't know. We really should get back to that since we were, like, not very far in that season. Um, we'll get back there eventually to that, too. I just don't have any... That's, that was meant to be just a filler between the year for the year, basically, so who knows. Eventually. Elbow is really good. Why is that elbow so good? Hold up, if I have to go in the cave, do I even have to fight the abobos? I guess I do. Yeah. Holy shit! That just shredded through him! Okay, the cave! Oh boy, uh, here's where my memory gets pretty hazy. <laughs> oh boy, platforming, double dragon strength. Ah, oh, crap. Nice. I hit jump, I swear. I did say the list this time around was going to be harder, so we're probably only doing three games tonight, if I had to guess. Unless I want to break out the fast list. The, the fastest list. Third tries a charm. If we don't get any farther on this attempt, then I don't know what we'll do. Will we give up or will we move on? Let's see. How long have we even been live at this point? 39 minutes? It's not terrible. Usually we give an hour at least to a game for lightning rounds. No risk list. I mean, yeah, I got some like basically guaranteed fast clears. But I want to at least earn some victories tonight too. I don't want to just be like, here's like, here's us beating like 10 edutainment games basically.
Does the analog NT allow a save setting? No, it does not. I would want to beat it without save states anyways. We're already kind of cheesing it enough as it is. So I feel like adding save states on top of that would just be too much. Come on. Come on, Linda. I'm in a rush. Not gonna lie, an edge team at Lightning Ram would be amazing. I mean, give it time tonight, and that might just be what this turns into. Oh. Oh. What? A bobo? A, a bobo? Thank you. He just wanted to let me level up off of him first, apparently. This is not going good for, like, not taking damage. We've taken so many hits already. Oh, fuck! Uh... <laughs> hmm... One. There you are, you're both there. Got there. Should we despawned? Is this a drink break? At least that's pretty easy to do, honestly. I guess I can see why everyone kind of knew it. You should be the home run derby tonight. Uh, I don't think you're capable of hitting actual balls with this. Just girders or invisible people. Okay, level six. So we've got the elbow. Oh shit. Drop it. I love that using this whip makes it sound like a laser. <clears throat> Fire the whip! I mean, at least we got stage one and two basically down pat. Like, we took big damage on this one, that's just because I ate the TNT. It's otherwise pretty smooth. This is the stage we've really got to figure out. Cow Fuck! And that's not a good start. Ooh. 
Oh, that knife almost got me in the back. I hate you. Okay. Two hits, three hits. Come on. Here we go, all four. Is there a third one of these guys? Yes. I'm not even gonna take a chance on you. Oh, bye. Oh, fuck. It's one more knife guy, at least. Motherfucker! Oh, I'm alive. Thank God for Magic Pixel. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, these guys are probably going to get me. If I can at least get to the Obobo checkpoint, I won't feel as bad, but I think... I believe getting through that door is full health. No, 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 no. Too risky. Fuck! Fucking time. There really is no way to get a one up in this game at all, right? I thought there was one for score. I thought it was score based. See, that's what I thought too, but I don't remember. Yeah, caves are full heal. Or new doors, rather, are full heals, so. Okay, so question for those who know the game. Do I have to do that platforming section, or can I just fall down to the bottom path? Okay, never mind, I did it. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Of course, now it was easy peasy. I think I might have to put flashing light warning on here. Hang on, because I think the screen flashes for a while. 
Pop that up. Is a flicker accidental or intentional? It's intentional. Uh, shit. Is this just fall down? Well, I guess it is now. Come on! God, you have to jump so early on these. Don't screw me over. Two Hulkabobos! Linda! And your sister Linda! What are you doing here? Oh god. I'm leaving. Bye. favorite beat him up uh probably streets of rage streets of rage one and two. Oh, this is this does not seem right maybe i actually have to beat up the lindas to go in there not trails in time i mean that's yeah that's probably also they're probably tied honestly streets of rage 2 is pretty fucking good How many Lindas are in this one cave? There we go. Oh, and that was stage three. All of that was stage three. Here's the problem, though. Here's where the game just starts fucking hating you in general. How do you feel about random patterns of bricks? Oh, hi! Fuck, and he had a weapon, too. Shit. Neat. And we're dead. Awesome. <laughs> and now you know why I've not beaten this game. All right, I'm gonna put this up to vote. I'll switch to other games here now if people want. Because we're about an hour on this one. I'll do an actual poll. Do we give it one more try or do we go play something else?
And of course, the second I said I'm gonna open a poll, a raid happens. Oops. At least be a pop up. All right, pulls up. Are we giving Double Dragon one more try? Or are we moving on? Call run countermeasures for you momentarily. I'm just waiting to see uh, what chat's feeling on this one. Actually, I can probably do both. So again, chat, uh, vote to see if we're going to do one more run of Double Dragon 1 or if we're just going to move on. Currently, it seems overwhelmingly people want to move on, which is fair. So uh, uh, let's just see what the results are after countermeasures. Hyper Cole, thank you so much for the raid, my dude. Uh, it's pretty overwhelming. 83% uh, say move on, so uh, we'll move on. Give me one sec. And I'll try to get revenge on this guy later, I guess. Alright, well... We're actually going to go back to something we played on Cookie. We are going to go back to Sunset Riders for Genesis. Because our first time playing it, we got to the final stage. <laughs> So it is entirely possible we can pull this off. I think it took about 30 minutes to do as well. I guess I do have to put back on flashing light warning for this guy as well. Uh, where was that? There it is. So, I looked up a couple things about this today. And one of the important things I noticed was that uh, those bonus, those little stars we kept missing in the middle of stages, those lead to bonus stages at the end of a mission. And the bonus stages have like minimum three extra lives you can get. So, getting those is kind of important. And if we can pull that off, we'll, uh, we'll more than likely beat the game. Let's see what we can do. Keep it on normal. Five lives. We're, of course, playing as Cormano again. He's happy to see us. All right, let's see what we can do. That thing. Getting that gets us a bonus stage. It will be at the end of the actual s mission, not when we save the girl. But uh, having that will guarantee us a couple extra lives at the very least. Just gotta be careful that quick draw dynamite. As long as we're somewhat careful, we should be okay. But 
Apparently we can also shoot dynamite, which is the other thing that kept fucking us over last time. Oh, thank God. I'm just gonna be paranoid, like shooting everywhere. Cause that's the shit we gotta be careful of. Oh, thought I heard a bagel. It's gonna be ready to duck at a moment's notice, basically. Oh, guess because I do hear a bagel. And a mister? Hi, welcome back. How you feeling? Let's see how to chat. No? Just want to make sure I'm okay. <laughs> you looking for mama? Mama's upstairs. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Yeah. He looks very sleepy. Hi. You upset that I brought you to the vet today. I'm sorry you had to go. He just looks very cross. He's very upset. Poor guy. You gonna be okay, mister? Oh, fuck! Damn it. Thank you, nice boys. Simon Greedwell. Where the hell did you even come from? Jesus. Okay, rapid. Rapid fire shotgun. Fuck. There goes another bonus star, but we've already got one, so we're set there. Knife dude. And his friend the knife dude. And his friend the knife dude. And his friend the knife dude, and so on. There's a lot of friends that are knife dudes. So many knife dudes!
All right, here we go, boss time. It's time to pay. Shit, he got me, damn it. Oh, this is bad. God, where is the safe place to stand there? Hello. It smells like burnt plastic down here. Really? Something happened out here? No. But I smell like, I see what you're talking about. It definitely smells like burnt plastic. Like uh, the heater or something almost. Marry me with my money. Heater, I he was on for a while. No, I'm my like, money. It smells like Hi, I'm Mister. I think he's feeling a little effects from the. Yeah, I think he's a little sore and a little out of it from the the shots. Go hang out with Mama. Yeah. I can't believe you guys got the bury me with my money Wario while I'm looking away. Are you kidding me? <laughs> my God, guys. Okay. And now we've got the rest of the fights free. Bury me with my money. Marry me with my money. Is this pacing around? Oh boy. I don't know what to tell you. I haven't really. I don't know. Yeah, I'm assuming it was just the heater. But then it was the heater on. It was on. I turned it off like ten minutes ago. Mm. It's probably just that. Let me smell the heater. See if it smells like it. No, I don't know. Hmm. Your no. boy, buddy. You lay down here with daddy. Yeah, you relax here, bud. I know. Let's go be up here later. Good boy, buddy. Yeah, you relax here. I like your outfit. All right, let's see what we can do on the bonus stage. Okay, we have to catch the one ups with our like we can't jump towards it. Our heads got to get them. Or it, maybe we did have to jump for that one. Okay, we got two one ups. As long as we can keep getting the bonus stages and one-ups, we can do this. We just have to be... We just have to... Oh, God. We just have to find the stars and not miss them as he immediately finds one and misses it. I think the whistle means that there's uh, like a bar coming up I have to dodge? Or is it based on how far I am in the stage? This is based. Oh no, that's the marker there on the front. Okay, the foreground marker! Oh, come on! Hey, what? Your shot goes through boxes? What? I was saying, mission is definitely not complete based on how this is going. Uh, I think they're as long as they aren't on the ground, you can pick them up. It's not necessarily you, you hit your head; it has to touch the pickups. Hitboxes are a little tricky to line up right, though. It feels like I tried picking them up on the ground, and when I couldn't, I don't know if it's just the hitboxes are weird, like you said, or what. God, he did get a third shot off. Man. It's because I'm being so paranoid about these one-ups. Or the bonus stages. I'm just not being careful. Uh, 
Oh, but then just some of these things are just bullshit. What the fuck? Okay, so we know this stage has one at the, or that last stage has one at the very, very beginning in case we ever end up back here again. Uh, am I gonna just have to make my, time my shots carefully, I guess? Fuck me! No, the start! Oh! Dude, these are in such rough locations. How in the fuck? How in the fuck? I can't shoot on the ladder, so stuck there. And you grab the ladder automatically, so uh God damn. Any star? No, it's dynamite, of course. Every other one I've been able to get <laughs> has not been a fucking star. We got the star, but we died for it. Thankfully, it stays even if we die. So we've got a bonus stage again. Alright, boss time. Then the boss had a spot I could stand in last time I noticed. He says as he immediately dies. As long as I take care of those guys that they show up in the train again, this fight should be over. Fuck! I couldn't shoot any more bullets on screen! Ugh! Uh, two continues gone. Do continues cost anything? No, you just get five to start. That's it. You only or five period. That boss drop candy like a pinata. Yes, yes, he did. One up. One up. One up. Oh, that fourth one. Okay, we got four one-ups out of that. That This is technically better than how we did on Saturday. Technically better. Oh, God damn it! there goes a the star again. They really place those stars in like the shittiest spots on purpose. No! You know what, I'll take it. A death for a star is at this point super worth it. Jesus. This is definitely harder than the SNES one, holy shit. Dude, dude, some of these enemy placements are ridiculous. Come on. No, 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 no. None of that now. No, no, no. Dude, they just try to get, like, be the most out of position they can be. It is insane. Oh. Thank you, nice boys. All right. 
Wondered if the SNES version was racist too. The SNES version, they've replaced all the the uh, Native Americans you're shooting at with uh, just random bad guys. Uh, and they renamed the boss to a slightly more appropriate Chief Wigwam, but I, I do mean slightly more. And again, we're at a... Are you kidding? I thought I killed you! It, we're talking a low bar, I guess. Okay, somewhere in this stage on the... Are you kidding me? Chief Power? Mm, no, guys, I looked up on the wiki today. It, it's it's Wigwam, apparently. Hang on. The Native American enemy characters from Stage Six were removed and replaced with regular outlaws, leaving only Chief Scalpum, who is renamed Chief Wigwam and revoiced in the SNES game as the stage boss. I mean, Wiki could be wrong. It's entirely possible. I'm just telling you what's there. Okay, so there's a one-up at some point here. Is it riding this the f for the first one or the second one that gets us the one-up, though? Back on there, Cormano! Fuck! Thought that was close enough. Fuck, are you serious? Oh my god! There. That's what I should have been doing. Uh, that's all I can say is just uh. all right oh it's he says powwow that's what it is okay I thought he was going to swing high. Damn it. Uh, well, that could have gone a lot better. Don't shoot my brother. He's only following orders. All right, man. We won't shoot him. Any more? Surprised John hasn't beaten this before. Uh, yes, or Saturday was my first time playing this version. So that's why I've never beaten it before. Ugh, the, the far throws are the ones that always seem to get me. I mean, we're getting four one-ups out of those for the most part. Second last stage, I believe.
Sorry if I go into concentration mode on this one, but as you can see, it, uh, it kind of needs it. <laughs> Crap, I thought I got him. Well, I guess we don't need to worry about stars anymore, considering uh, there's no more bonus stage chances. Were there no bullets? Oh. You're killing me. That's like, what, at least twice so far this run that we've just had bad luck of being out of, like, on-screen bullets when we've turned around. I thought we would've been fine because we were so close to the damn wall. Man, can you believe I'm only playing on normal difficulty? <laughs> There's a higher difficulty than this. Fucking wild, man. She is. Get to the girl, get to the girl. Thank you, nice boys. Thank you, nice boys. Yeah, they beat it on a higher difficulty to get the true ending. This is a this is a Konami game from the 90s. Um We'll find out together, shall we? Cause I don't know! Alright, sorry, kid not gonna be much looking at chat right now. How many continues do we have left? Two, I think? God, I hope. How many shots are you going to fucking shoot? Ugh. Okay, just, just take your time. Take your time and grab the ledge because you have iframes during that. Fucker! No. It's our only continue. Are you serious? Oh, man. You seriously weren't there when I looked earlier. Fuck. What even is- I can't even reach that. Oh. <laughs> this game is so dirty. This game is so dirty. Holy shit. Grab a Cormont. Oh, thank God. I see you over there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I just, I just want to get to the boss at least. We gotta le learn the pattern for him a little bit. We're at the boss. Oh, you don't even have it? Oh, you do. You do. Fuck. I thought there were gonna be no sidekicks, and I got very happy for a moment there. Shit. Wait, what? Alright, second half of the fight already? Oh, we 
got so lucky with the explosion! We got so lucky with the explosion! Damn it! If we had had one more continue, we would have had that! Oh, damn it. Alright, I'm gonna give it another attempt, but should we take a break first and grab some CoComs? What do you guys think? Break, 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 break. Everyone's saying break for the run back. Gotcha. Damn it, I, can't, I had no idea about the dynamite. That is amazing. So for reference's sake, he has two phases as you saw. The first phase takes like 50 shots or something crazy. So the fact that he basically did it to himself immediately, kind of incredible. And that would have been an amazing run. There's apparently a cheat for 99 continues, but I assume you want to do this legit. Yeah, I don't want to use any cheat codes. If there was a glitch to earn, like, infinite lives or something like that, I'd probably do that, but cheat codes, eh. I grew up with this game, beaten it on hard, and I did not know about the dynamite. Incredible. Yeah, I think this is apparently the only version of Sunset Riders that you can shoot the dynamite in, so I guess that would be, this would be the only one that you could pull that bullshit off with. All right, let's drop some eggs. Uh, shit, Bubba's still gone. Oops, forgot. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna skim the list then. Thank you all. The list is long to read, but special shout outs to the following people, the long timers and the brand new. Soul Flare Kia 2020 with the new sub, which is weird because I thought you definitely had one before. Uh, K Thor as well. Welcome to you as well. J Rage at 105 months. Mothraman 54 at 84. Reign of Throne Away at 79. Hugo Sheehan at 91. Tattoo 14 at 83. Ghost Knighter 34 at new. And Chronic the Hedgehog. All right, that's a solid ass name. Chronic the Hedgehog with the new sub as well. And Polk Kitsune at 101. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out as long as y'all have. And those of you new that are hanging out here now. Uh, your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Let's see what I got in the carton. I got a couple. Oops, I probably should have clicked that first. My bad. Uh, Magus Andrus with Dear Mario. Dear Mario, I'm trying to sneak around, but I'm dummy thick. The clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting Bowser. Peach. Not surprised about that one. Next one from Observe the Celestial. Just a street in Buru City. <sighs> I'm still lost. Oh, this is what you Best put on art blocks the, the multiverse, day. and I can't even find the supermarket. Boo City, where are you going? <laughs> hey! <sighs> That's gotta get annoying if that happens all the time okay. to him. So I'm just gonna have to. Poor you Duke, every step. Me. Oh no! Uh, what? There's only one of you? A million Dukes! Ah, the infinite Duke theory. Thank you, Observe the Celestial. <laughs> I just imagine, it's like the Family Guy bit where you're like, you're walking around and you have theme music playing as you walk, but it's like taken to the nth degree where every step just starts the same three riff over and over. I feel bad for Duke at that point. And Shit. Private Butter with- Just play your fucking music. Well, actually in a second. Private Butter with Bear Huggers, Words of Wisdom. Yes! Yes! What was the sound in the background? I was saying yes. Yes! 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 
All right, we're gonna go to break. I'll grab some co-coms. When we come back, we'll do a second run of Sunset Riders to see if we can pull it off. We got to Richard Rose. We can do it. We just need a little, little bit more health and maybe a little bit more luck like we had at the beginning of that fight. See you guys in a bit. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, guys, I knew what I was doing. I was saying, what's that noise in the background? There's like a weird, like, bleh, bleh, noise in the background. That's what I was asking about. Here. I, someone said it's Bear Hugger doing his taunt, apparently. Yes! Yes! Hear that yosh noise. Yes! 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 That, that sound. That's what I was asking about. That was Bear Hugger's taunt? Gotcha. I think it's Dan talking. Oh, n well, no one's sure. We'll never know. Seems free. What up, doe? Yo. Just trying to clear a bunch of games tonight, and we've so far beaten none. <laughs> so oh, that's good. Not a, not a good lightning round so far. I'm uh, playing Vampire Survivors. Nice. I thought you were going to say you are playing GTA with everyone else in the modern. Mm, yeah. Alright, I have to quickly go grab a drink. I'll be right back. Arcade Pit Champs. Hey chat, how's it going? Anybody excited for Forza Horizon Hot Wheels tomorrow? Migraine? I I hate migraine so much. I usually have to sleep mine off. But you know you know what sucks? I get migraines from sleeping too long. Is my life. Hey, Pixie. <sighs> yeah. Yep. That how it be? That'd be how it is. Oh, sweet. We get to rub it in Maniacal's face. <laughs> I don't think he cares. <laughs> I don't think he cares. Have you heard of the latest Xenoblade 3 collector's fuckery? European version no longer up for pre-order before release. Instead, we get to buy the contents late September separately. What? <laughs> so Very did, cool. So did Europe never even got the collector's edition chance to pre-order? What? 
That's insane. <laughs> How are they botching this so bad? It's because they moved the date? It has to be. It's already really weird that, like, in North America, if you pre-order the collector's edition, they just mail you the game, and then in September, they mail you the rest of the collector's edition. That's already really weird. But the fact that you just couldn't even get it at all in Europe, and they're just selling the rest later is really stupid. Yeah, that's odd. Oh, and there's a tweet to confirm it. Collector's Edition will be available exclusively on my Nintendo store. Follow you in blah, blah, blah. Due to unforeseen logistical challenges, we are unable to open pre-orders for the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Collector's Edition before the game launches on July 29th. We apologize for inconvenience caused. To give customers the flexibility to purchase and enjoy the game at launch, we will now be offering the contents of the Collector's Edition, soft cover concept, art book, steel case, and outer box packaging as a separate purchase at a price that does not include the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 software. This means you can buy the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game when it launches on July 29th and have a chance to pre-order the Collector's Edition contents on my Nintendo store later in September. I mean... At least they're doing that. But that shouldn't have been necessary. <laughs> so that's pretty botched. I imagine they just didn't expect the sheer, like, number of people who'd actually would want to order. I, re I refuse to believe that based off of how the last few collector's editions they've done have been. Like, Xenoblade I 2 collector's edition did pretty good, and I think the Xenoblade, collectors, Xenoblade Chronicles collector's edition was, like, super limited. And that mm -hmm. sold out super fast, from what I remember. I don't know. I, I feel like there's no way Nintendo does not realize how popular Xenoblade is as a series if we've gotten four in ten years. <laughs> yeah. We haven't if, seen an F-Zero in 20, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah. If they, if they have four huge RPGs like Xenoblade and then they're like, I can't believe people wanted our stuff. Like, come on, man. Like, seriously. <laughs> What they are is that listening to like that one guy who always goes on their Twitter accounts like nobody wanted this. I'm like, oh, you're right, actually. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> so they, well, like, we no. should have listened to you, uh, Billy 64 on on Twitter. You would have you would have saved us so much trouble. All oh, the money you could have saved us. Somebody give that man a medal. <laughs> How do you know my not safe for work? <laughs> you're not, not safe for work, Billy 64. <laughs> It's just retweeting, like, James Bond porn. Is that all it is? Yeah, that's it. And, and yeah. Billy from Double Dragon. And it's all on the uh, N64 engine, so it's a little <laughs> more odd. N64 rendered Goldeneye. <laughs> Amazing. Of course. <laughs> you fool, I have 70 alternative accounts. I knew it. The theme for today is N64. Please draw your art in that style. <laughs> oh, here's the funny thing. The first post is actually exactly that. Mm, uh, nice. Let me quickly do alerts, and then let's hop over to Art Block, and then go back to Sunset Riders. Oh, it could be a case of like moving up the release date. I'm seeing. In oh, chat. Yeah. so okay, so that is that is why that the collector's edition contents are not available at launch. I get that. It's still weird they didn't try to sync them both up, but I get that. Uh, but I feel. They still would have the same issue with the actual collector's edition pre-orders at that point. So that just seems a little weird. That's the part that's weird to me. I get why it's split up in two halves. I, I think it shouldn't have been needed, but whatever. Logistics. And there's technically still a supply crisis, so I get it. It just seems weird. Mm-hmm. Oh, Puppet Master, I thought it was September they were sending that, because that's what it said on their site when I ordered mine. Oh, okay, you, you corrected. Yeah, sorry, there you go. They said December I was, originally. I will say seeing talk about Advance Wars in chat, I had this theory today, I don't know if this is actually going to be the case or not, because we've not seen anything about the game since it got delayed, or at least beforehand. I honestly got wonder if it's going to take longer 
because they're actually changing up like that one, I guess, Russian character that's in the game. I honestly wonder if they're actually going to change that character entirely, and that might might be why it's taking longer. What game is this? Advance Wars. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. That could explain, like, the just massive delay. I don't know. Yeah, because I feel like that... It was ready to go. Like, I get delaying it for the war. That made sense. But I couldn't think of why it had taken so long since, unless they were just literally being that respectful about it. I know, like, someone straight up, like, got the game to load for them, and they actually were able to play a bit of it. And then that got shut down real quick. I think they, uh... Release the patch, you're like, no. <laughs> yeah, saw that. Uh, what did someone else say? Something about a collector's edition, too. Where was that? Uh, are you aware of what happened to the AI Somnium Files collector's edition? We got the pre orders canceled that were made over a year ago, followed by all sites opening them just to close them again. A few weeks later, we got canceled orders across the board, then they opened them again, with an infinite delay loop that could only be fixed if you purchased the game and then canceled the old order. What the fuck? I love video games. I hate video games, my dude. <laughs> it's so exhausting <laughs> sometimes. And sometimes your special editions have some, uh, I'd say not some good quality stuff. Anybody remember the Infinity Eggs oh, from Marvel? the Infinity <laughs> Eggs. I swear we talk about that at least once or twice a month. Yeah, probably. Well, that's because eggs are a regular thing here, so. I suppose so, yeah. Uh, all right, where were we? Marshmallow Bunny says, Hi, John. It's my birthday tomorrow, and I'm taking some good luck from the good luck jar, pa uh, please. Also, I think you're cool, and chat is cool, and Double Dragon is cool. Thank you, Marshmallow Bunny. Happy birthday. Hope it ends up being a good one. Mr. Joe says, Hey, John, correct me if I'm wrong, but asking this after it got picked for Fortune Cookie, was it ever confirmed that Peach was originally supposed to be a character you fight in Punch-Out! Wii, but Nintendo refused to put DK in instead? Anywho, going to be tackling Majora's Mask Water Temple and hope it's not as difficult as Ocarina of Time's Water Temple. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was like an April Fool's joke that someone did on like like a magazine like EGM or something like that. I... Oh wait, no, someone else says that actually it was. What? Interesting. I don't know. I always... I thought that was just some weird April Fool's bit. But that... I have heard that before. It's, Peach thing was real, it was not a joke. Hey, I'm looking. Fun fact, original Princess Peach was going to appear as an opponent in Punch Out Wii, but it was scrapped because producer Kensei Tanabe said that the thought of punching women out made him give up his idea. Uh okay, there's no source on that though. Is it Digino Gaming video mentioning it? Does this have a source? It could just be a case of just a game with a lot of rumors flying around out there. I found a Kotaku article from 09. Kotaku? Hmm. It's Totillo, usually. Totillo back when he was on Kotaku was pretty pretty trustworthy in the time. Alright. Credit for the inclusion of a certain famous Nintendo character as an opponent, however, came from an executive at Nintendo of America with support from Next Level Games. Tanabe revealed to Kotaku that he had a different idea for who to include from Nintendo's library of icons, Princess Peach, but the thought of punching women out made me give up my idea. So apparently, it's real, huh? Wow. All right. Why would why would she be the first one you would think of and not Wario? Like the guy literally known to shoulder tackle and beat up people. I guess or DK who also makes perfect sense. There's so many other characters that make way more sense than Peach. I don't get it. I love video games, dude. They're pretty great. Daisy makes more sense. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, actually. Let me fight Goomba. I want to see how Goomba boxes. It'd be funny. That's fair. That man can hold a fucking baseball bat with the power of his mind. I want to see how he goes with, like, boxing gloves. 
Peach represented a fighting style that wasn't otherwise in the game. Yeah, all right, from that logic, I can see it, but still, I feel like, even in my mind, if you said, pick a, a Mario Nintendo, Mario Universe Nintendo character who would be great in a boxing match, Peach would not be high on that list. <laughs> I likely would have said Waluigi before I would have said Peach. But maybe that's just me. Jay the Kitty Dragon says, It's my 30th birthday. Happy birthday, Jay. Hopefully it's a good one. Tridale says, I've been curious for a while, John. What game in your collection is one of, if not the, oldest game in your collection? Not in the game's physical age, but in how long you have personally owned the game. In a similar vein, on a personal and not financial level, what game in your collection is one of your most valuable games, and why is it Superman 64? Jesus Christ. Uh, game I've had the longest? Uh, so I don't remember if it's the NES games or the Game Boy games. If it's a Game Boy game, it's Tetris and Super Mario Land. If it's an NES, it's actually five games. Uh, because when my mom... My mom bought an NES with five games off of one of her students for the family, and that was how I got an NES. Uh, the games that came with it. It's gonna take me a minute to remember all of these. Mario and Duck Hunt. Fighting Golf. River City Ransom. Kung Fu. And there's a fifth one there I am blanking on right now. Um... I know, I, I thought it was Ninja Turtles 2, but I'm pretty sure I got that for a birthday. But yeah, there's four or five NES games I got at once, so those would be the oldest ones I have, unless I got the Game Boy before I got the NES. I don't remember. Uh, as for the other part, uh, what game in your collection is one of your most valuable games for personal level? That would easily be The Great Circus Caper, starring Mickey and Minnie Mouse for the SNES. Because, as I've told the story before, it was the last game I played with my uncle before he passed away. So, yeah, I've got a sentimental value on that one. Even if it's not the same copy, because uh, we used to just, I used to just rent it, but just, I've always remembered it for that. No, it's not a game you stream at all, but have you heard about the, the case Bungie Studios has brought against a Twitch streamer? I, wait, what? No, I have not heard this. Everything's happening, apparently, this week. Retro64 Polygon says, Hey, John, it's been a while since I've been here, and that time I discovered an RPG that became my new favorite, Live Alive. I was interested in the remake, so I emulated the original with a fan translation and really liked it. I'm planning to get the remake and was wondering if it's something you're going to pick up. I, I think it's like Live Alive, I think is the actual title. Yeah, I'm going to pick it up. Uh, no guarantee I'm going to play through it when I get it right away, but... Yeah, no, I'm definitely interested, so I'll at least have it. And I've, he I've heard of Live Alive for a while. I just never got around to it. I'll grab it at some point. Heard good stuff about it. Is it the Twitch streamer that was copyright striking Bungie stuff without their consent? What the fuck? If that's the case, then I get it. That is kind of amazing, if so. Fucking wild. Oh, is that Daredevil in the top left? I thought it was Tom. Jesus. <laughs> no, that's Daredevil from the Netflix series. Okay. I've only seen the first episode like years ago. I want to watch the rest, though, because I hear very good things about it. Say the line, Wario. Say the line, Wario, is a, is a donation from Phazon Farmer. And if you give me a second. It takes a bit for the site to load it. Marry me with my money. There you go. Gokai Orange says, by the time you'll, you read this, it'll be the 19th over here, my 29th birthday. I could use the luck more than ever this year. Health anxiety hit me pretty hard today. Hard enough for me to leave work early. No egg video for me this year. Hope this suffices. Happy birthday, Gokai. Hope things are good, my dude. Try to do your best to relax and unwind if you can. Do anything you can to help you relax. Didn't think I shared a birthday with others in this community. Dude, I don't know what it is, but I feel like every stream, like three people have their birthday. So mm -hmm. it's amazing. I can't even. I wonder how many days that we've had where no one has celebrated a birthday for a stream. I feel like it's almost impossible to hit that at this point. It's wild. How, how many followers do you have again versus how many days there are there in a year? Like, <laughs> uh, I mean, okay, sure, but I'm saying like actively during a stream, like, like we have like a thousand people usually at a stream, and uh, it's still wild, man. Mm hmm. Yo, who I in the share my birthday with Rosa, John. 
I'm sorry. I'm kind of curious on a February 28th birthday right now. Like a leap day. Or I think mean, it's 29th. It's 29th, okay, yeah. SlyGuy46 says, Hey John, requesting some birthday luck now that's my birthday on Eastern Time Zone. Not only because it's a big one. Uh, it, I'm entering my 30s, Lord help me, but I also want some good mojo going to an interview tomorrow morning. Thanks for being a great source of fun. Happy birthday, Sly Guy. Here's hoping for good luck on that interview. Here's hoping for good luck overall. Kermel Mancer says, Hi ho, so I have a long weekend, so I went down to sh oops, Chicago to see Weird Al Yankovic on Friday. It was a really good show. There were no parodies, but his deep cuts that are his best songs, anyways. And now I bask in your jealousy, John. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, so here's the thing. I went to the first show he did like three years ago, when where he did the, the Vanity Tour the first time. That show was great. He did two in Calgary at the beginning of the month, but I don't feel comfortable enough to go into a theater yet. So I passed on both of them, which sucks because one of my friends went, he's like, yeah, no, uh, Al apparently made sure everyone in the, in the building was masked. And apparently the show was just incredible. So I'm just like, fuck, I kind of wish I had gone. Dang. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, yeah, I still don't feel comfortable in crowds. No, I, I feel that, dude. Like, it's crazy out there. All right, let's go to our block, and then uh, let's get back to Sunset Riders. Let's hopefully beat some games tonight. <laughs> oh, no, I just saw one of the pictures. Good sign. All right, like I said earlier, our block starts with some N64 models because it's uh, giant humba wumba. From Shockinator1000, Hi John, I thought I'd try to draw Lukajin's favorite character in her Banjo-Tooie LP to lighten my mood, as I haven't been having the best of all weeks. Maybe because on the 14th of July, I tested positive for COVID. Oh no. I had to put off work as well as my Xenoblade Chronicles LP. Thankfully I'm healing, so I should be back up and running again soon enough. Well, I'm glad to hear you're recovering, Shock. But sorry that all happened in the first place. Thank you for the, the biggest humble wumba out there. Next up, from Bee Master. You know, what's funny, John, is I didn't even get a chance to post the beeflet art with when the beeflet egg was done. So this image is why that egg was made. I was just rambling while drawing a Janadian, tending to animals, and figured what if beefroos were not babies? It spiraled from there. If I'm in a call and I'm drawing, either the drawing will be bad or the words coming out of my mouth will be incoherent rambles. So it was, it was definitely incoherent rambles. Got it. Thanks, Ben. Thank you for the baby beefs. Next up. From Horizon Star. After Sunday's amazing arcade pit match against his own moderators, John ended up roped into an exhibition tester smite against the Apple Man himself. The challenge? Beat the big catfish in three turns. Fat Man joined him on account of it being his arch nemesis. Save scumming for the catfish duel really gave our hero a complex. Ah, Lufia 2. That makes way more sense. I'm like, wait, it was a Final Fantasy XIV picture. It all <laughs> makes sense now. Close enough. Oh, oh, that was a fun pit. That was a good pit. Thanks for, thanks for, I guess, setting all that up, because it was basically maniacal that kind of organized everything on that. Yeah, I was like, yo, uh, let's all uh, apply for this date, and I was like, John, Pop, and I was like, uh, who else is in this call right now? Alita was down, so like, it was all four of us, and then we got approved for it, and then, uh, hey, it happened. It was a good sign. And we yeah. won. <laughs> wow. Man. <laughs> we deserve more drawings, man. Fuck, you guys got Ninja Gaiden? I'm still mad about Ninja I can't Gaiden. believe <laughs> Ninja Gaiden 2, Vice Project Doom, and what was the third game that was just exactly my wheelhouse came up? Uh... Oh, fucking Wild Arms, or Wild Guns. Yeah. Right, right, Wild Guns. Wild yeah. Guns came up twice. I felt so bad. Look, I... I was chilling. I was big chilling, dude. I had the people's, um... I was the people's champ with Monkey Ball and Mega Man 2. Dude, I can't and, believe you uh, won that fucking Monkey Ball challenge. I'll give you credit for that. That was that was well done. And the swindler of uh, picture points as well. <laughs> oh, I'm, st I'm still a little salty about that. I thought it was like safe to say it. That's why I did. I can't believe they gave you the points for that. <laughs> as for Magic says, I finally got around to drawing an alt of the month. Because of the antics of last weekend, a blob is trying to skate free of containment. You know, with the blobs made and some of them changing, this blob might have eaten some special flavored jelly bean. I don't know. Rosabot's just like, uh, do I have to go get it? I could just let him ride his skateboard and be free. Thank you, Esper. Hmm, this surprisingly tastes like a chocolate bar. Oh 
Oh no, from Junko. Seen a lot of Tiger Slime related stuff recently, so I decided to add to the chaos with giant Tiger Slime Pixie. You know, leave some buildings for Hydra to destroy, Jesus. Thank you, Junko. As Tiger sparkles and smiles in the background. And this was this the one I was laughing at earlier, because this is fucking great. Bury me with my honey. <laughs> Don't know why I thought of this. Tails, it's because you're a genius. This is perfect. Holy shit, that's so good. Don't ever apologize. This is fantastic. Oh, bother. Oh, bother. All right, that's our block for now. Let's get back to the game. All right, let's see if we can do it this time. I did change the game to Sunset Riders, right? Yes, I did. Good. You should have. All right, let's see if we can do it this time. We have learned a lot about the game. We've gotten to the final boss. We're doing all right, Grant. all things considered. Did this become a game clearing now? Oh yeah, because this is a short game. Like in during the cookie time slot, we got to the end of the game in like a half hour. So we put it in lightning round and then we've had some shit luck today, so. I feel that sometimes. Wait, where did the that other one come from? That Winnie the Pooh image reminded me of like when I watched no! the. I'm restarting. Oh. I'm just restarting. <laughs> this, this run's just started bad. So I watched the original Winnie the Pooh for the first time a few months ago. Not too bad of a movie. I laughed when I saw there was just him just going fucking ham on some honey, just like like a. It's just him, like, just sitting down. He's got, like, one arm and, like, one pot. He's got his foot up on the other pot. And he's just guzzling that shit. It is incredible. Oh, image. holy shit. Yeah, okay. So he just put the image in chat. This is the image. Look at him go. That's from the movie. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. He is destroying all the, the fucking 100 acre woods supply of honey. Yeah, he didn't fuck around. He does not. Can I talk about how much of an asshole Pooh is, by the way? Like, he just terrorizes me. No, he totally me. is. He totally is. That's the thing. The plotline of the Winnie the Pooh, like, cartoons is literally just him just being, like, obsessed with honey and just, as a result, just kind of messing up everyone. Well, I would say everyone else's life, but it really is just Rabbit's life, I guess. I like Rabbit. They... Rabbit has constant anxiety. Aren't they based off of, like, the Seven Deadly Sins or something? Uh, I think this is a rumor, but I don't know if that was ever actually confirmed. I could believe that to a point. Like, who is like gluttony and yours depression? That's my favorite sin is depression. Yeah, my favorite. Wait, was that not a? Si oh, wait, no, it's That's not, a, not sin, a deadly sin. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm, I'm mixing it up with something else. Sorry. <laughs> could it be depression? Well, I guess actually sloth for the actual deadly sin. I don't. I think Pooh's the closest to being sloth as well. Oh, God damn it! Well, who'd be the closest to gluttony then? I Maybe guess Pooh Poo. kind of hits both. That's did you see that poster for the horror movie they're making? Dude, I did, I I'm like stupidly excited now. to see that. It looks dumb as shit, but like in the I best possible wait. way. And I don't even like horror. It depends on the horror for me. Like I'm so burnt on like cheap jump scare horror. Oh yeah, it's got it's got to actually have like some some bite to it. I want the Pan's Labyrinth kind of horror, man. Give me that atmospheric shit. I don't know if going to like a Winnie the Pooh knockoff uh, horror movie is really gonna give us that, but I'm, you can hope. Yeah, I can always hope. Yeah. <laughs> what about Saw levels of horror? That would be hilarious. Oh man, Saw is my favorite horror movie. Shit! God damn it! Aww. I keep forgetting down is not slide; it's down forward. I've admittedly only seen Saw 2. I never actually saw the first one for whatever reason. First one? The first one's Great. actually a good movie. <laughs> like, what is happening? Why are we getting worse at this game the more we play it? Holy shit. What is happening? Two's pretty good as well. Mm-hmm. Basically, Saw goes downhill third movie onwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I still love them, though. They're like Final Destination for me. They're cheap, like... It's just dumb horror, but half the fun is just how stupid the horror gets. And in case of 
Final Destination, just the, like the, the deaths in those movies. Oh yeah, I mean that's that's the main appeal. You're right, 100% right. Yeah. Ooh, God, there we go. No, 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 the star! Fuck! <laughs> Aw. I believe I've heard that they're making a new uh, Final Destination movie, but it's been delayed due to COVID and stuff. Uh, yes, I believe that. They're is the still case. making Saw movies, dude. Yeah. Like, I think the idea for the new Final Destination is, like, first responders or something along those lines. That, that was the main thing I heard. See, I'm surprised that an actual Saw movie didn't try to do that, in a way. Although, I guess, really, the main, like... And, I guess... I was to say antagonist, but I guess the main protagonist is usually related to the police, so... Yeah, the... <laughs> I guess you really can't call Jigsaw the protagonist, in a way. I think in the new one, it's, uh... Chris Rock. Yeah. Yes. Son of, uh... Danny Glover's character. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I heard the new ones were kind of I almost said Donald eh. Glover. Like, like, I, like, I don't... I never watched Spiral, I think is what it was called. Aw, uh, that sounds right. Fuck, I, I really wish slide was just a button or something, man. Like, I'm pretty sure it's just a button in the SNES one. Yeah, I didn't saw... watch Spiral or, or, or Jigsaw. I heard Jigsaw was okay. But I have no point of reference for I don't for believe that. <laughs> I didn't say good, I said okay. There's a difference. Yep, and you. Got the money. Holy fuck! I should've stayed in place, I would've been safer. Oh my god, please, just get her! Nice. Thank you, nice boys. Nice boys. I find it funny, this is like the only audio clip in the game. They took out all the other spoken words and just put in one that wasn't even in like the original game. All right, so the important thing is we have the star, because the star means we get the bonus stage. And that's where we get all of our lives back, essentially. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on! Dude. If this is how this is on normal, I'm like, I'm fucking afraid to see how this game is on hard. Like, this is fucking insane. Is that or you'll do it first try, maybe. I, I mean, as, as much as I would love that to be the case, I absolutely refuse to believe that will actually happen. It's just the way, the, the fact that enemies can just pop on screen immediately and just fire immediately is just ridiculous. Yeah, and, well, like, that's that's kind of rude. And like the like your dodging is not the best. Like if you have like a railing like that, I think you get iframes, which that's helpful. That's super helpful. But dude, anything else is just rough. I thought he got me with that second shot. You know, speaking of rough. Buddy mine was showing. Uh, Buddy mine was showing off uh, old yellow to some people earlier. I'm like, man, I've never actually seen that movie, huh? <laughs> like thinking about it. Not where I thought you were going with that. Well, I mean, rough because you know dogs go rough and stuff. Yeah, I, I realize that now, but I'm just the movie's just, also rough. The movie's also pretty rough too, yeah. It's, I mean, so I've heard. Yeah, I've never seen it, but like I've kind of. Had oh, you hadn't watched? I thought you were watching it because your friend had, had brought it up. No, I mean, I thought they were doing it with like some people. I'm like, oh, I've not watched that actually. I don't know, I just kind of thought about the fact that, you know, hey, sometimes you just don't see some movies, and I guess in that case for me, it's Old Yeller. I mean, I have, I have a huge list of movies I need to go through. I think we ended up watching it in, like, junior high for some weird reason, but, like, we never even got to the actual part, like, the bad really? part at the end, yeah. Or if we did, I think we got called away for band practice, because I do not remember seeing the ending of that movie, but I remember seeing some of it. Mm-hmm.
All right, let's see here. It's I was time. I to ask you what you played in band, but I, I I know what you played in band. Yeah, tennis sax. Yeah. Tennis ax. I played tuba. Really? Clarinet. Yeah. I played, for, I played tuba from fourth grade till ninth grade. Nice. I think I played clarinet from... What? Oh, come on! Fourth grade to, like, eighth or ninth grade, I think it was. Yeah, once they added uh, marching, I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> you mean I gotta move with this thing now? Nah, I'm good. It builds character and muscles. Bury me with my money. Bury me Murray with my me muscles. With my money. I don't think this guy had any muscles based on him. Alright, I'm gonna do the bonus stage and I'll do Mere Artist's uh, Wisdom of Duke. Alright. The good news is we have not used a continue yet, which means this will be very beneficial to get some one-ups. I just gotta remember which one it is that she throws. Shit! Nope, she only she only throws three, and none of them are high. Damn. All right, Duke, what do you got for us? Shake it, baby. No, no, no! Please don't shake the baby. I like how that one comes up way more than the other version of it. <laughs> just really anti-baby shaking around here. They've got the same odds, too. Okay, so there's a star almost immediately, so I just gotta be careful I don't shoot it, which is tricky when you have a shotgun. No! Got it! Nice. All right, now we don't have to stress about any other stars on this stage. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I'm trying to remember where we were normal, where we used our first continue last time. I'm just trying to keep it like a rough estimate of like what's showing improvement and what's getting worse at this point. So I know we always take hits on these ladders because they take away your ability to shoot when you're on them. And touching the ladder is what makes these guys appear out of the window. Oh, come on! Have been Contra 4? Yes, when it was new. Ooh. Wait, we're already on the train? How much content did they cut out? Oh, it, there's only four bosses. <laughs> the Genesis one's really barren compared to the, to the SNES and the uh, arcade versions. But it's the only one uh, out of the home versions that lets you continue when you die in place. Like, you don't have to go back to the beginning of the stage. Which is why so it's kinda... way more approachable in a way. Yeah, kind of like... Benefits and drawbacks of sorts to both. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh bother. Oh bother. Fuck! Fuck. I slid. He, why was he shooting there? I wasn't even at that point. You son of a bitch. Preemptive shooting. That's Damn, the worst. He got me. It fucking worked. <laughs> oh, what the? Uh, I thought he was going to shoot when I was on the ground, so when he shot, like, up, I was like, oh, no. Oh, come on. That was rude. That was really fucking rude. Video games. 
Dude, man, I don't know what Konami had against gamers in this in this generation, but Jesus Christ. Back then, the difficulty was like what well, added to game gameplay time. Yeah. Uh, but man, either way, they still were very spiteful at times. There's some games that definitely did not need to be as hard as they were. Okay, that went clean. Hasta la bye bye. Thanks for the candy. Speaking of video games, how, how are you liking your uh, Steam Deck? I actually haven't played it too much since, but uh, the bit I have played I like. I feel like I'd probably get more use out of it if I had a dock I could put it on. Which you got. Which, it's just, I gotta wait like a couple weeks, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, I think it's the third one up is the one that goes high. At least that's what happened last time. I've gotta wait a couple weeks for mine as well. Two... I'm... No, that's not high. Like, I'm interested in a Steam Deck, but also I think, like, I think I can wait a while on it. I don't know. Okay, we just got five one-ups. Um... Shrug? <laughs> Mm, we take those. I guess. Isn't Konami from Soft's publisher? No, that is uh, Bandai. That's Bandai Namco. That is correct. Bamco, if you will. All right, th this stage took a shit ton of lives out of us last time too, so let's try to be careful. But considering Bamco. how most of the fire uh, bow shots. Oh right, we have to still worry about stars. Shit. Oh. Oh come on. Right. He didn't aim for me, he aimed for the fucking rocks. I appreciate the little, like, burning animation, if anything. Got a star! We're set there, at least. We've lost two lives already in this stage, and we've only gotten here three lives! And we've only just gotten here. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Four lives! <laughs> We're oh, killing geez. it! I oh, five lives! Right. All the bonus lives we picked up are gone already. Oh, we didn't need those. We kind of did. <laughs> I love video games. Dude. They're all right. You know, John, what would you say is your favorite video game that you've played within the past year? Within the past year? Are you <sighs> serious? Dude. Donut Dodo. No, but it's good. Um, <laughs> in the past year, probably Shredder's Revenge for for recent. Mm -hmm. um, That's I, a good choice. I can't even remember the rest of what I played last year. I don't even remember my top ten. Uh, other M, maybe? Not other M. Sorry, uh, Dread. Wrong Metroid. <laughs> hey, other M. Interesting. <laughs> Dude, all of our lives are already gone. Jesus Christ! We walked in the stage with like seven lives. I have yet to play Dread myself. I'll get around to it uh, at some point. I feel like Dread's a must-play. Hmm. Everything I've heard I don't of have that is positive. I don't have many games in that category, but yeah, I feel like that one's... No! His corpse was on fire! Ah. Uh... Ah, oh, that sucks. Dude, I can't tell if we're doing better or worse anymore. My god, we, we were like in- we had so many good setups and then they've just kind of gone to shit. It's like the game is actually almost difficulty balancing based on how well we're doing. Which the Konami's arcade games used to do, so I almost wouldn't be shocked if they put that into this. But I think I've just yeah. been getting bad luck. That's interesting, if, if so. Yeah, the, gradi the greatest games, at least a bunch of them had uh, difficulty balancing, where the better you did, the more enemies they threw at you. Mm -hmm. And the more lives you lost, but then you continued, the less enemies they would throw at you. To a certain I know, point. I know Spyro 3 did like the same thing, where like if you're going around like collecting like every like gem and whatnot, like the bosses would be harder. That was for sure in the original game with at least for sure Spike, like the second boss. 
I don't know for sure if that would affect the other bosses. I just know the second boss fight for sure is affected by if you're going around in like Game. basic 100 Are you things. kidding me? Just let me jump up there. It's literally right there. Now nice. we're ready for the one up this time. I swear to God, if we're not. <laughs> oh, Spike is really hard in the original game, but then they made him like game? piss easy in the remake. Oh, thank God! For once, for once, it worked. Uh oh! Uh oh! Please land on. Okay, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, well, that's the first time that set went decent, so. so I can't complain about that. Now, let's just see how Skull. Uh, rather call him Wigwam. Let's see how the boss goes. Wigwam? Because his name in this game is Chief Scalpum, and uh, not exactly the best name to choose. So. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, so they. Um, they changed it for the SNES version to something else, which is still not the best, but was definitely better. They change it to, uh, to Wigwam. Oh, come on! I was out of range of that! Bullshit! But I do the tip of the knife there. At least this boss isn't as bad as it was in, like, the SNES one, but man, it's still pretty bad. Excuse me, can you stand somewhere where I can actually hit you? Thank you, Jesus. He's not gonna do it. He's fucking not gonna attack me. And then when he does that, I can't get to him. Thank you. Nice. All right. Yeah, I'm using- I'm saying better with- in quotation marks, for sure. Continues left three right now. Alright. Two stages left, and at least we got the bonus stage coming up here now. Yeah. Four. Fuck, that was when I had to jump for. Ah. <sighs> Alright. Second last stage. We can do this. Ready for the bullshit when the dogs show up. Puppies. I had to stand up, didn't I? Damn it. Whoa, boy, that could have been bad. John, remind me a second here. Have you ever had a dog in your life? No, because I had a fear of dogs for years. Oh, okay, gotcha. So yeah, no, I have been, all my pets have been almost exclusively cats. I had a hamster when I was really young, but so did my sister. We basically each had a, had a, uh, our own hamster. Mm-hmm. I had a hamster once. His name was George. That's a solid name. I think mine was Peachy and my sister's was Trinette. Something like that. Peachy Trinette. Peachy and Trinette, that sounds right. Little George Costanza. <laughs> I mean, Seinfeld wasn't out when we had we had the hamsters. I'm pretty sure. Dang. <laughs> I, I like to think the hamster just looks like George Costanza. Just like just your, just your little George Costanza in a cage. <laughs> yeah, Lita. I, I I had something similar happen to me my, myself as a kid, but. Uh... So love dogs now, at least. Yeah, no, when I, like, 
I, I think I've told the story before, like the dog bit me in two really, really bad spots and I have had a fear of dogs since, but I got over it for the most part. I'll still mm -hmm. flinch every now and then around like certain dogs, but yeah, I just never really had the urge to get a pet dog. Reese wants one badly, and if we eventually do get one, I'm sure I'll be okay. Fuck! Ah, oh, I didn't mean to slide! Aww. Do you know what kind of breed of dog you'd want? Uh, Reese said maybe like look into getting a greyhound because like they're basically cats, but as dogs, because they like to just they get they need a little bit of exercise, but then they'll just stay inside and relax. But otherwise, I don't know. Like I always had a, a thing for like golden retrievers. Good choice. How would Bagel handle a dog? Bagel weirdly enough likes dogs. Oh boy, not a good time to reach yet! Alright, final stage. Fuck. And there's a continue. Shit! I thought I still had iframes! Fuck! God, I have the world's fastest shotgun, but I cannot keep up with any of these guys here. Sure, it's a good thing you don't have to reload. Yeah, thank God for that. I've seen this game. Have you played any other, I Fuck! guess, Western? <laughs> Sorry, say that again. Oh, good. Uh, have you played any other Western kind of games, like Red Dead Redemption or anything like that? Um, no. And well, Wild Guns, I guess. I guess so. Yeah, it'd probably be the closest. But yeah, no, none yeah, of the but... none of the Redemption games. I actually watched my ex play Redemption One, and it seemed neat. Definitely interested me, but I just never uh, bothered playing it myself. It's Fuck. good. I liked it. Time to get past that. I've never really played it in the GTAs, but I've played like Red Dead Redemption and LA Noir, and I liked both of them. I mean, if you like those, People... then you'll probably you'll probably like a GTA. Mm hmm. If People you like, also if told you me like the open world aspect, because that's really the only thing they have in common. Right. Yeah. I've had people tell me like they think I would like Bully as well, like another Rockstar game. Bully is pretty well like it's pretty it's pretty chill in the way it is, but it has that GTA humor that people like. On like a much smaller scale, since it's like all about a, a student, mm -hmm. like a prep school. All right, boss time. Are we gonna get as lucky as we did last time? Let's see. Good luck. Cheerio, old chap. Fuck. Fuck. So the answer so far is a resounding no. Wow, is it a resounding no? Go back over there. Okay. Nice, nice. Lucky on that one. Oh, right as my iframes end, are you serious? Are you kidding me? He's timed that perfectly. Okay, that was just me being an idiot. No, he's still- what? The hell? Huh. How do you still have health left? Thank God! Nice, nice. Whew, kinda close there. Oh, 
Oh my god! We went in there with what, 11 lives or something like that? Jesus! That was last life, yeah. I had no more continues left. That was our last possible life. Finally, we beat one game tonight. Jesus. You did it. Alright, that's a beat since there's a higher difficulty. Please do not play this on hard like ever. I want to just see what the difference is, if you want me to be honest. Yeah. And we didn't even get top score. Fifty thousand off of that. Beaten by toy. I gotta see how bad this is on on hard for a second. Oh my god, everyone's faster, I'll tell you that much. Right, give me that, because that's the bonus stage. Let's just let's just get to the end of this stage and just see how bad it is. The bullets are definitely faster. Yeah, definitely, definitely they shoot way faster. I wonder if there is a difference in the amount of continues you get, too. Let's just find out how many, how, how many continues we have. Now it's still five. It seems doable, I, I think. Faster bullets might actually be a plus considering that you died a fair amount because of the bullets being slow. It's possible. There might be a benefit to it. Maybe I'll try it on my downtime. Imagine living in the mid to late 1800s and some dude rolls into town with the equivalent of two fully automatic shotguns and effectively infinite ammo. That would be horrifying. I mean, apparently <laughs> since he still dies in one bullet, they shouldn't be too worried. He may be invincible, but he is only mortal. All right, so we beat Sunset Riders for Genesis, so I figured uh, to soften the blow and kind of unwind from that nonsense, we would play the arcade version of Sunset Riders. Ooh. So we can also see the major differences between the versions, too. The good thing about us doing this version is that we have infinite continues. Uh, oh, so it's a four players? Sick. Yeah, so Sunset Riders was a four player arcade game like Ninja Turtles. Mm -hmm. It was really good. It, it, like, I, I remember playing it when I was a kid. I thought it was awesome, which is why I like the SNES one, which is a lot like the arcade one. That one is not like the arcade one, but uh, definitely hard. All right, so I think if we go four players, it forces you in the first character slot. I'm not sure, because it was like Ninja Turtles and whatever player you were dictated your turtle. So I think we'll just do the two-player version. So, so many accounts there. Hmm. Y to shoot, or Z, L, or Z, R, B, or A to jump. L to add credits. And R to start. Okay. I need to grab more of these arcade archive games, honestly. Like, I know there's, a, like, a ton of good ones out there. Yeah. He's 
Steve. Billy. Bob. And of course, Cormano. Yeah. <laughs> Best friend to Steve, Billy, and Bob. Riders Sunset. Sunset Riders. Steve, Billy, Bob, and of course, Cormano. I love that everyone, no matter what, always plays as Cormano. Because Cormano's where he's at, man. He's a cool dude. Yeah, he's got like, the pink uh, poncho and the hat. Well, I forgot how small your shots are in the arcade version, though. Oh, man. Look at that difference. But I got a real kiss. I got a real video game kiss. I got some real alcohol that I smashed on my head. Holy shit. Oh, he's hardcore. Don't fuck with Cormano. Aside from some visual things, this is very similar to the SNES version I'm noticing. I think you can, can you? Yes, you can. Okay, I wanted to make sure that was actually a thing. I thought it was. <laughs> Look, and uh, decide to bob yourself, why not? Oh, right. The, the units that actually throw dynamite are girls in this one. That got changed in, I think, both versions. What is wrong with those horses? <laughs> ah, they're just hot like, pink, you know. Run to avoid hot, getting killed! Hot, hot pink radioactive horses. I'm back. Welcome just back. Just in time for more Sunset Riders. We beat the other one. Oh, yeah, we beat yay. this next one, so we're doing the arcade one now. Oh, you can burn the same. Throw it back quick! Blowing up soon! Look how slow that bullet is by comparison. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm sure this will get much harder at some point. Oh, it definitely, it it definitely will. Richard Rose is going to be a pain in the ass to do. Oh, Look at this go amazing run cycle Cormano has, though. It's the yeah. best fucking run cycle. Puts the Belmonts to shame. Alright, here we go. First Good boss. Luck. Say the line, Bart. And a Wario spoke over it. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Hawkeye Hank Hatfield. Alright. Horse stage. Well, I remember this stage actually being kind of tricky because of the angle you had to shoot everything at. Because you can't move up or down, you are stuck on this path. So I'm trying these uh, Carolina Reaper Hot Cheetos. Oh, yeah. How are they? Uh, spicy. Ooh. It wasn't the Cheetos per se, but I did see like just straight up California Reaper peppers. I'm like, oh, huh. I didn't grab them, uh, but I saw them one time. I'm like, oh, that's, that's neat. I didn't grab them just because I'm like, I don't know if I'm actually going to even use these. But, like, it would just be a novelty just to have them. I'm like, I don't know if I want novelty right now. <laughs>
Shit! Ah, oh, that's my first death. Versus the Genesis one where we probably would have been on, like, what, our like, seventh at this point? Oh, shit. Damn it. Oh, you're really screwed, though, when you lose your power-ups in this one, though. Shit. Mm hmm. Alright, boss time. Boss number two. Oh, this is definitely a more forgiving version because it's infinite lives for one thing. Yeah. I almost feel like this is so far easier than the SNES one because, like, bullets aren't flying as fast. But I assume that's gonna balance out soon. A very dodge happy boss. Oh, hello. You got me. You got me. Shoot enemies. Okay. Good luck. I wonder if it's starting in a circle. No. My mouth's on fire! <laughs> My mouth is on fire! Oh, this looks fun right now. Ah, I missed well, I missed two, I guess. I think there's 50. Yeah, total 50 hit 48. I only saw one that I missed, though. Uh, I think there was a guy in the bottom middle there that you actually didn't hit from what I saw. Time to fight Dark Horse. Dark Horse, good name. People are asking if uh, Pop is okay. What do, you, what do you have to say to that, Pop? Hot. Good answer. Well, drink, drink some milk. Do you have any milk there? Lactose intolerant. Oh, I do that. I'm a, I'm off the show, dude. This game over. <laughs> game over, man. All right, what's a good substitute? Uh, I quick. think almond Winter. milk still works, though. Does that still have lactose in it, though? Yeah, I got that laying around. I wasn't sure. <laughs> Lemon, bread. I guess bread would work, yeah. I hate yeah, just... gluten. <laughs> Alright, no gluten. Alright, if we roll right, out gluten. it's a little complicated now, Pop. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just kidding. It's not that What's bad. Your favorite oh, shit. It's not that bad. Sugar. I don't know if I just... I don't know if I could recommend just consuming raw sugar, like on a spoon. I would do that. I mean, you can. Like, I definitely did it as a kid, but it's also like, look back and then I'm like, hmm, I don't know if that was the best idea. <laughs> would that actually uh, help with, uh, with spice, though? No, but it probably would taste good, at least. Uh, okay, but I think that's not exactly this concern at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that bad. I mean, we also could just do water. We're getting the obvious one. I mean, well, it's, water it's doesn't hotter it than uh, it's hotter than regular hot Cheetos, but it's I don't know. Isn't it's the whole point of like the Carolina Reaper hot? Okay. Oh, I was gonna ask you like, uh, what do you think it? What is that supposed to rate on the Scoville unit? Because like that's how much water you're supposed to drink to uh, to put out the pain. Oh, it'd be a lot of water then if it's like California Reaper. Because California Reaper is very high on the Scoville scale. Yeah, they're pretty high. But these are. I guess these are just, like, the taste. Keys! 
John, what's the spiciest thing you've ever ate? Um, I've done suicide wings or whatever the equivalent of those are. Like you one of those like super spicy locational wings. Mm -hmm. and that's when I learned that I like spicy food, but my body does not. I feel so that sometimes. I actually made myself sick and had to miss work the next day. I missed a stream once because I Oh hang on. I missed a stream once because I went to Buffalo Wild Wings that day, right? Yeah. And they had these like extremely hot wings. I think it was like also like California Reaper, like sauce based wings, right? They were very good. But they were so hot. I believe so, yeah. Like I said, they were they were super good, but oh man, my body did not like me after that. Come back, oh. Shane! Come back! Also, I completely talked to his dialogue, my bad. <laughs> You all right, ma'am? Oh, those terrible men. Please help. All right, ma'am. Don't worry about it. I'll go shoot some people for you, ma'am. Yeah. The Smith Bros. Look at those noses. We're gonna blow you away. Oh no, they've captured bunny girls. They have no. to pay. Oh fuck. Right, I forgot these guys just whip bombs and explosives. Every oh, and I just walked into him. Okay. Please continue. Well, so it took stage four for us to have to continue in this version. That's pretty good. <laughs> you know, so the bunny girl's on fire, man. What must it be like for like these enemies? Like they kill a guy and they just see him like just get back up. Like what 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 must that look like? I'm sure horrifying. Yeah, because like you just see him just walking into the room again. It's like. It's like your body's just disappeared. What? 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 <laughs> oh! Oh, sweet. Thank you. Oh, Bye. Nice. Do we mob of these? Those were spicy. All right, I'm good. All right. Well, nice. now we get a, a little show. Oh, yeah. As, as our prize for actually uh, beating the bosses. It's a show. Yeah! Yeah! Shake oh, that hat, is... Cromano! Yeah! This is great. I'm having so much fun. Cromano's um, having a great time. And it's just the dead guy on the left. A huge reward is being offered for Richard Rose, but be careful, he always has three sidekicks with him. Weird how she told me that after the show and not before. Alright, time to get El Greco. Oh, right, we're playing as Cromano on this one. Oh, buddy. Alright. Is there a particular reason for that? You'll, you'll find out. Don't, right. it, it, don't spoil it, Chad, if it hasn't been said already. I forget if I have to do something special for it or not. I could have sworn we did this on a uh, shuffler race. The arcade one? No. Not the arcade one. It's NES one, probably. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's entirely possible. Why is, oh, God, I thought I had to... Wow. <laughs> I thought I had to... Uh, oh, my God, I'm just running on the, on the rails. Holy shit, that was awesome. <laughs> I thought I had to, like... Get rid of it, and then it just exploded as I got towards it. And that must be even more terrifying. The guy just respawn had super speed. Look how slow! On. Look how slow that fucking thing was that time versus the Genesis one. Holy shit! Oh no! Don't no! I don't need a save state. Look at the speed of that versus the Genesis one we just did. He's having he's an off day, that's all. <laughs> the posts? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, boss time. Adios, amigo. Adios, amigo. Oh, right, this guy uses a whip. And a shield. I actually don't remember how to fight him. There's a, there's a trick you can do with this guy, too. So oh, right, it's just because he can't hurt you in midair. I think only his whip damages you. 
Ah, okay. I did notice he had a, uh, the same kind of, like, poncho. Oh, boy. Continue. Dude, that's sick. <laughs> if you're Cormano and you kill him, you get his hat. Does that stay for the rest of the game? Yes, it, that's our hat for the rest of the game. Oh, Shoot. that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Didn't shoot for some reason. Oh, that's what you were asking, chat, not to spoil. Yeah, Makes that sense. was the hat thing. <clears throat> that's pretty tight. Yeah. I miss that guy. Video games. Gotta love them. Do I? Yeah, by Not law, really. I do. By law, really? Who passed it? You don't want to know. Ah, Mr. Nintendo himself. Ah, Mr. Nintendo. Nintendo. 44 Chomp. still? That's not bad. Chief Wigwam, which is the rename, because apparently in the original arcade version, he was still known as Scalpum. So apparently the arcade archive version changed two things. They changed um, one line that I think the guy we just fought says, and they changed uh, the boss's name to Wigwam. Okay. So I think those are the, like, the two only two changes this version has. I, they might have also like made the... The showgirl's a little less revealing? I forget. That one might have been left the same. Oops, I didn't even see that. Uh-oh, I'm like super out of room here. <laughs> I can't get over this one rock! This dude is in the perfect fucking position. Look at this. I cannot get him. He's the master of war. I can't get- there we go, Jesus. Casually murdering a, t murdering a ton of people, no big. No big deal. I'm sure it's fine. Stuff. Yeah. Just, just, just casual murder is all. Cormano, you fool. Why does it no matter what version of this game I'm playing, I still have an issue grabbing that damn thing? This fight still sucks, though. This fight is awful in the SNES version. This is somehow better. Way faster though. There we go. Please, please, don't shoot my nice, brother. Nice, nice. He's only following orders. All right, ma'am. We won't shoot him. 
Still gonna celebrate on top of him, though. Don't mind that. <laughs> I'm going to have this victory no matter what. Paco Loco. This was the dude we fought on the train instead in the Genesis version. Oh, got my pink shotgun shells. Shit. He somehow dodged every one I fired. You had your pink shotgun shells. I love them so much. They were color coordinated. <laughs> How am I missing this one guy? The color coordination makes me more powerful. John, would you say that you go for colored coordination in your outfits? Uh, blue not, shirt? Yeah, blue shirt. Not that often. <laughs> Alright, just curious. So I, I used to, actually, a surprising amount in, in college. I had, like, a certain flow in my outfits, but uh, I, there was, like, a phase I went through where it just wasn't really that much. So I'm usually either wearing, like, blue jeans or black jeans, um, like a t-shirt and a hoodie. Like, sometimes I'll pair things up with the hoodie color I'm wearing and stuff like that, but not too much, because, again, blue shirt. So. Blue shirt. That's all you need. Mm. We need pants. Oh, boy. Shots do you need? Hasta la bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we could have just walked around that. I mean, whatever. Yeah, sure, it's fine. Sir Richard no Rose, deal. final boss. Good luck. Well, I guess we couldn't, because it seems like it's connected to a cliff there now. Oh, it kept going, damn it. Continue. Hey, hey, stop shooting at me out there. Stop it. That's not very nice of you. How many people are in this house? Who got a Gatling gun? Damn it, I tried to slide, but instead I fucking jumped again. Oh, how is this? Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, this is a cutscene. I'm not in control right now. This is all a cutscene. Okay. Oh shit. Don't want it. Need my double shotguns. That's a boulder! Oh, that's another boulder! That's a bullet.
Oh, I'll man, give, I'll give him this. This is a lot more security than what they had in the in the SNES, in the Genesis one, rather. Fuck! I actually was safe. Please continue. Please continue. Hurry up! Yeah, I'd love to hurry up. Trust me. There we go. I'd be curious on how different the four-player version is. I'd imagine it's just more enemies, but I can't say for sure. Oh, no. Like, gameplay-wise, it should be the exact same. Mm-hmm. It's just there's, you know, four of you, so you're covering a lot more ground. Of course, yeah. All right, red carpet affair. Now this is gonna be way harder. So I'm assuming he's gonna have a lot more uh, fodder enemies come out. Oh yeah, that was bad. Oh, that was such a rough pattern. You're gonna run out eventually. <laughs> My foot. Soul. I have infinite men. I'm beginning to wonder, actually. What if he could run out of men, actually? <laughs> like, there's only so many, like, people he could like, enlist. What if we killed every man in the Wild West? I am the last cowboy. A lot of money to bury. That's true. And a lot of men to bury with it. Yeah. We have 70 alternative men. Thanks, Camille. Fuck. Is that how many shots he takes the first time? Why isn't the family guy death pose? <laughs> oh fuck, damn it, Gavin. Dang. The answer your question is because it wasn't a thing yet. Sunset Riders predicted it. Hurt one thing, sorry. They predicted the family guy death pose. Oh, yeah, of course, yes. <laughs> sorry, I like just blanked on that one. I say, bit of bad luck. Oh, GG's. Beauty. Don't. Not bad, I actually guessed how many uh, continues I needed exactly. Put in 10 coins, and ended on my last coin. Well, I got a lot more coins now. Yeehaw! Yeehaw, brother. Yeehaw. So that was basically, if it was a quarter per play, two and a half bucks, not bad. Oh, he got rid of his cool new hat. Oh shit, you're right, he got rid of it. Dang. Maybe he maybe he keeps it at home as a memento. The end. And then it loops. All right, well, let me just die so I can put my score in. Or, okay, he just didn't want to shoot me, apparently. Let's see if I can get without shooting then, apparently. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
my uh... god. I have gotten way farther without shooting than I actually expected to. I did not expect this to happen. Pacifist run. Pacifist mode, exactly. You, you gotta get what to is a, happening? To what his name is. Yeah, this is just Vash the Stampede strats, huh? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, I'm about to run into an issue because I can't fight the boss without actually shooting, so... <laughs> Love and peace! Love and peace! Yeah, I don't think bosses time out, so unfortunately I think I do actually have to shoot this guy. Unfortunately. Yeah, fine. Bother. Fine, I'll murder. Gosh, I guess I'll kill someone. At least we get the line again if we do this. Yeah. Silver linings and all that. Silver lines. -ing. That's a stretch, and you know it. That, yeah. that got away from you. <laughs> I think this one's gonna be hard to do pacifist on. I mean, what gives you that idea? Probably the fact that uh, they're actually gonna shoot me. And I can't dodge like any other way. Look at this guy just riding this bag! It's a great time. Alright, there we go. Continue. Join now. Insert coin. Top 10 bounty hunters. John, Kid, Sam, Pat, Jim, Doc, Bob, Kit, Roy, Bolt. Sure. Let's see where that puts me in the world for score. Konami. Uh, online rankings. Oh! I guess I should have expected that. <laughs> I mean, if you have infinite continues... Yeah, you just keep yeah. looping until you get max score. So yeah. not using infinite continues puts me at 456. And I am tied That's at 456 good. with a king. King Proton John. Yeah, His Royal Highness in the flesh. Yeah, yeah, two spots. Yay for me. I wonder how Just many people. Like the other game. Only eight people bothered to actually max out the timer or the, the score. Everyone else stopped. Queen Rosa John. Ah, uh, yes, because she needed a title. She already has a crown, I guess. All right, that's two games. Easy uh, peasy. <laughs> they were both Sunset Riders, but that's two games. <laughs> Uh, so what's next? Sunset Riders 2. Oh my god, yes, the sequel that nobody made. Bummer. A shame. I thought this game only had a second loop. I thought that was the case too, so maybe it is hacking, who knows. Let me look at my list. Do I have anything I could beat right this second, or do we want to go to break now? Sunset Riders 2 is Gunman Clive. Mm -hmm. There you go. Sunset Riders 2, the search for more money to bury me with. Nice. Uh, right. Juker gave me a game that he says can be beaten in 30 minutes-ish. He actually gave me a couple other games, too. Maybe we'll take a break now, 
because it's 20 minutes till next break normally anyways. Uh, and then we'll just regroup and try our luck. Hmm. Come with that. Sounds good. Don't forget the spin-off Sonic Riders, Jesus. Uh, alright, let's drop eggs then. Uh, that looks like where I left off. Mini Witch 3 for 72, Pseudo Bite for 65, Dante 010192 for 24. Uh, box is not confused for new. Uh, oh no, you taught me how to say this too. Uh, Curleprechaun? K R L E P R I C O N? Like Curleprechaun? Uh, for 20. <laughs> Radical is my favorite Mario level. DB Koopa for 56. Blonde Guy Gamer for 36. Azure Guardian for 63. Still for 28. Darchi for 28. Omitsu for 47. Jake Monroe for 88. Shadow Howl 69 for 24. Daughter Earwig for 21. <laughs> Bury me with my sub anniversary. And Tyler Blabioshi for 14. Thanks for seven folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. What's in the carton? Way to submit intermission gifts. Uh, you put them in the Buru when we are not live. That's the best way to do it. Uh, there are no new eggs in the carton, so let's see what the shuffler's got. You will give me an egg, Froggy. Oh, there you go. Big the cat himself. All right, we're going to go to break. When we come back, uh, Juker suggested this game. He said it's one of the shortest games on the NES. We'll see if he's telling the truth. Master Wu, or sorry, Master Chu and the Drunkard, something like that? Master Chu and the Drunkard Who, I think is actually what it is. My favorite Dr. Seuss book. I looked it up, and the, uh, yeah, Master Chu and the Drunkard Who... Uh, long plays like f 15 minutes. So theoretically, it will probably take us a half hour to beat. See you guys after the break. Didn't ABJN cover that in his early days? He might have. Wouldn't shock me. I could see it. Guys, got any questions for us in the meantime? If you could choose one or the other, would you? Sure. No. Which one you brought up? Yeah, your arts in sixty four prompt. That would have been that would have been me. Pretty sure. I think I remember saying that earlier. Yeah, would you like to be buried? That's funny. <clears throat> I uh, I told my mom how I would want to be buried the other day. Really? Yeah. How I told her that, not to worry about it. How did that come up in casual conversation? Uh, because we were talking about coral reefs and stuff. Oh. So this thing you can do is, like, you can get your ashes uh, mixed with cement, and then, like, they'll grow coral reefs on you. Well, they throw you in the ocean, and then... And they... It's... It's... It's weird. I understand. But it's also pretty neat. Yeah, that's mm. kind of cool, yeah. But yeah, they, they make you into a, like a... Some sort of... Heavy thing, put you in the ocean, and then like... Let the natural habitat go... Grow on you and stuff. Then you're just a, a fish home. Nice. It's either that or get planted into a tree. Let's 
someone asking about favorite stream types for Wednesdays between Power Trip, Cookie Jar, Race Nights. Uh, hmm. You two are usually the ones that organize the race nights lately, so I figured those would have been your that would be your choice for both. I suppose. I mean, race nights are fun. They get a lot of people involved, but there's there's cool things to see as well, like. This upcoming Wednesday stream, and you can come watch where it will be Cookie Jar, where John picks uh, all the games that you have submitted. Uh, be there or, or don't, not. I guess. <laughs> you don't got to. You don't have to. Yeah, you don't pretty, have to. We're pretty lax here. Yeah, be there or don't. It's not mandatory. Only Saturdays. Speaking of which, is Cookie Jar still on for Wednesday? I'm going to say yes. And Pop and I are probably just going to fuck around with Hot Wheels on Tuesday. Although, actually, I'm I'm going to be over at uh, at uh, Laughing Boy's stream tomorrow. And I believe you <laughs> so are, too. So am I. Yes, you are, because none of us are streaming it, but uh, nope. Laughing Boy is. So we're all hanging out at Laughing Boy's stream playing Mario Party around 6 Mountain? 8 Eastern? Was that the time slot? <laughs> yeah. 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 7 o'clock my time. Yep, 8 Eastern. Yep, so Mario Party Superstars with myself, Popsky, Laughing Boy, and it looks like Sarah Bear. Nice. And then I'm going to play Hot Wheels after that's done. Who's the worst person that you've ever met? Uh, probably this one guy I knew, like, uh, Proton John. Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, I can see that. You're just mad because <laughs> you lost Pit. What? No. <laughs> I've lost Pit plenty of times. I don't need to be mad losing Pit with John. <laughs> I've also won with Maniacal in Pit, so... That is true, yes. I... That was, a, that was a fun time when we were on that first time. Didn't you say you were, like, 40 and 5 or something? Yeah, apparently my win-loss ratio on Arcade Pit is 40 and 5, and I think at least one of those losses, if not two, might be, like, the April Fool's Troll Pits. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were close. I honestly think we would have been fine if it weren't for all those, like, game challenges. Which, I mean, hey, that's just how the show goes sometimes. I know I have a 10-15 record right now. Meds keeps holding me back, actually. Uh, quite <laughs> clearly. <laughs> A joke, because I think all the times Meds has, Meds has gone on, uh, we've just lost every time. Because <laughs> it's always, like, us two together. Popsky, what do you think of the new Hot Wheels Looney Tunes DLC? I haven't played since we uh, tried to play it online at one time, and it just sucked. And honestly, tomorrow is... I'm not even going to think about that Hot Wheels game anymore. Last time y'all tried it, it had some issues, I recall. Yeah, that's why I've never, I haven't played it since. Yeah, that's a shame. We, we had a, it did not give us the last, the best impression last time we played, which was a bummer. Because mm -hmm. it was fun while we were playing it, but then, yeah. That's why I'm excited. Fours is getting Hot Wheels DLC, DLC again. Just yeah, and a being, track builder. Oh, oh I, I keep forgetting it has a track builder this time. So yeah, that's hopefully gonna be amazing. I'm so excited, dude. I'm going to plug myself. I'm going to stream that tomorrow at noon central. Smile. Hmm. John, if you want to stop Mooch from getting their revenge, surround them in coconuts. Oh, it's that easy? Okay. John's a bad. I want to see Chugga take on Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. I can't see him being into it. I don't think he even ever played Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, Pokemon was his card game. Yeah. Where the bloody hell did you find a coconut? Have you never been to a grocery store before? They yeah, got those there. sometimes. You can just buy coconut stuff. Now, a durian. Oh, that's the fun one. <laughs> I was going to say dragon fruit. We actually okay, have dragon fruit. Durian's actually pretty good. It just smells bad. Oh, yeah, no. Like, I've had durians. They just taste like just a more slimy mango, but they're still really good. Which, you know, good way to describe what food is good is slimy, but, you know. <laughs> More quoting Pony Python. Ah, eh, fair enough. Darians are smelly. That's kind of the point. Um, is it, though? 
well, actually, no, before I commit to reading art block and alerts, let me make sure this cartridge works. That might be important. I forgot what we're playing. Master Some kind of what? And the Drunkard Who. Drunken Master, I think. I love that movie. Ooh, that bad, huh? Well, um... Yeah, maybe. Oh! <laughs> probably, probably needs a little bit of cleaning. Just, just yeah, that might be an issue. Glitching gun. Maybe just a little bit. that it worked right away but had the glitches is a good sign. It also might actually not be dirty because there's there's something rattling around in there. Uh, I love but, that. But here's the thing. So uh, this is a Color Dreams cartridge, which is an unlicensed cartridge. And the problem with those suckers is that you actually have to destroy the sticker on the back of them to actually open them up because there are five screws and one is hidden behind the sticker. Which as a collector, fucking sucks, because usually the easiest way to clean these things is to pop them open. Although this cartridge is uh is pretty messed up to begin with. Uh let me see if I can get this on cam. I don't know if it, I don't my lighting's pretty oops, low right now. It might not actually show it. Yo. Uh Notice the color changes on there? A little bit. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's all over it. The plastic is just like two-tone when it's not supposed to be. And then there's this crack up here, which I think is the said rattling, which I can no longer hear. Oh, that might not be that might not be good. <laughs> quack, quack cocaine. <laughs> what color is the nail polish? Oh, it's the same one I posted on Twitter. I haven't changed it yet. It's still holding up pretty well, honestly. I don't know why, but I've been thinking a lot about the Pee Wee Herman crack commercial recently. <laughs> this <laughs> just, just... is crack. That one? Yeah. God, he used to do a really good Pee Wee Herman, I remember, actually. Yeah, no, I, th I, can, do his, I can do his laugh pretty well. But it takes, it takes like a couple tries, because it's like... Because <laughs> it, 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 to get like the good ones like the... <laughs> like that, it, it takes a bit. <laughs> there we go. That's the one. I can never get his giggle down. Where he goes like, <laughs> like he, he does like, a <laughs> like that. But the ha <laughs> is way easier to do because it's just two sharp notes. Oh yeah, anti-drug PSAs are great. I remember years ago actually, I used to make a bunch of anti-drug PSA eggs for around here. I went through a lot of those anti-drug PSAs. <laughs> Master Who is actually a game Color Dreams had distribution rights to. The original devs were known as Hacker International, who made quite a few play for porn games for the Famicom. Amazing. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. Can I get a hell yeah for some porn? <laughs> hell yeah, brother. a little bit of dirt still coming off of it. Ah, that sound was squeaky. Fun fact, Pee Wee Herman's Cowboy Curtis character was played by Lawrence Fishburne, the man who would become Morpheus in the Matrix. Yep, that is true. That really? Lawrence yep. Fishburne and Pee Wee? Mm -hmm. Amazing. Yes. That is 100% that is Lawrence Fishburne. I never saw Pee Wee's Playhouse, so I had like no idea he was in that. He was just a recurring character named Cowboy Curtis. He, he was just a full-blown cowboy that just showed up and hung out with Pee Wee every now and then. That's cool. We could all use a resident cowboy in our lives. Yeehaw, bro. I want Cormano to hang out with me. Cowboy Curtis was also played by Phil Lamar in the revived stage show. Oh, shit. I mean, yeah. That's a good choice, too. Yeah. For those who have not right. seen Cowboy Curtis, let me get a good picture of him. I mean, you look at the face, and you can tell that's Lawrence Fishburne, but like a very young one. But yeah, this is what he was. This is what he was dressed up as. 
Oh my god. That's <laughs> Cowboy Curtis. He just <laughs> randomly <laughs> showed up every now and then and hung out with Pee Wee. It was great. It's such a loud outfit. <laughs> of course. In Pee Wee's Playhouse, of course. The most muted looking thing was Pee Wee himself. Show them Jombie the Genie. Uh, Alright, because Reese showed some of her subs. Uh, some episodes of Pee Wee Playhouse on Sunday. That's a good picture of Jombie. Yeah, you know what? This, this one's solid. I'll load up these two. Here we go. John B. the Genie was the head of a genie that just hung out in a magic box in Pee Wee's Playhouse. Pee Wee would just kind of Pee Wee would just walk up to him and just ask him questions. And I think the magic words were like Mecca Lecca Hi Mecca Hiney Ho or something like that. It's been so long since I've seen this show. Uh, I think it's two Heinies. Oh, you're right, Hiney Hiney Ho. Or was that or was that when they had to repeat the last part? I can't remember. Yeah, that's Jombie the Genie. There were two Pee Wee Herman characters in Ultimate Showdown? Yeah. That would be correct, John, simply because Weird Al used that in Pretty Fly for a, as a rabbi. Or for a rabbi, rather, yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, let's quickly read alerts, or did I just already do that? Nope. Pantero says, Speaking of birthdays, I was tempted to delay this until it was the 19th in your time zone, but the opportunity presents itself! Time for cow and luck taking. Happy birthday, Pantero, to you as well. My god. All the birthdays. Feels birthday. Feels birthday, for sure. Legend Daniel says, Hooray, I got my Wii U up and running today. I just need to see what games I can get out before Nintendo shuts down the eShop. For now, time to play some Tales of Arise. Nice, enjoy. JTM Inc. says, Hey, John, got back from Kineticon yesterday and I had a blast. Now have a cow for your cowboys. Thank you, JTM. Faison Farmer says, Do you believe lightning can strike twice? Yes. Yes, I do. Legend Daniel says, Honestly, I don't think the cats and dogs fighting each other has that much merit. I just think they have different lifestyles that don't quite mesh with each other. I mean, some dogs just don't like cats because they just don't like things that are smaller than them. Dogs just like to start fights with things, basically. So do cats, really. Fox McCloud says, Do you think that the Steam Deck might be a suitable second PC to play games on for your streams? Yes, that is actually what I'm probably going to be using it for in the future. I'm just going to set it up on uh, the desk over here, and once I get the proper hub in, and then just do that. That way we won't have to keep changing the stream to 720p if we want to use a more intensive PC game. And we can yeah. try out stuff like um, RPM or BPM again, see if that works better. Faison Farmer says, one more for good luck. Thank you, uh, Faison. Ugi as well drops a Wario. And now, let's go to Art Block. And let's hope this cartridge works. Otherwise, we're going to have to go to a backup game. Art Block starts here with uh, Princess, Princess Peach starting a fight. Bring it. From Drops of Moonlight. While I agree, having Peach and Punch out would have been a weird first choice. If there ever was a Mario character that should get to punch some fuckers, it's her. I mean, if she was dressed like this, absolutely. Absolutely, she could run in and just wreck shop. Samus, though? I mean, Samus isn't a Mario character. I agree she'd be a good fit, but she's not a Mario character. Take a drops for that. Next up. Oh my god. From Grease Lightning, George Costanza in a small hamster is what I heard, and well, it's not the most cursed thing I've drawn. I hate how accurate this looks. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thanks, Grease. Next up, Rosa Marketable Plushie. Embroidery, eyes, mouth, small hoodie, shoes, handshape, star, DTG stars. 
From Mimo Riru, Eggpack started talking about marketable plushies. I mentioned, man, it'd be cute if Rosa was a marketable plushie. Everyone agreed, and I hyper-focused for an hour to mock this up. Always wanted to make a plushie. Can't believe John is the first one I did. Good practice, though. Also, hi, my elbow is better, but my leg is hating me. Oh, no. It's, if it isn't one thing, it's another. Hope you're feeling better either way, Mimo. This is a cute design, actually. This is super nice. I like it. Thank you, thank you. I feel like, though, if we ever actually did sell a plushie, it's gonna be Bagel or Beefaroo. Or likely both. But it is nice to have a marketable, marketable Rosa plushie. Next up, from Super Nintendo, Kame. It's my first Rosa John picture. I have two other panels for this, but it, this is the only one I've actually managed to finish. I didn't know if you were a Dragon Ball guy, but here's Rosa doing the series staple, Kamehameha. Hope you like it. I mean, I watched Z. I watched, like, basically the original run of Z in North America. So, yeah, no, I like Dragon Ball. I, cause Dragon I never, Ball yeah. I never saw Dragon Ball. I, I watched that up to the end of the first story arc where they finally got the Dragon Ball. Oolong wished for the most comfortable underwear and Goku turned into the giant ape. Like, that story arc. I never saw the rest of it. And then I went right to Z because that's what aired in Canada originally. They went from that to Z. <laughs> so I thought, wow, Dragon Ball's really short. I wonder where all these other characters are from. I've never seen Krillin before, but everyone seems to be super comfy with him. And then I found out, like, oh, there's like a hundred episodes of Dragon Ball that just didn't air in Canada till like the 2000s. Okay. Weird. Yeah. Well, because we've talked about this before, like, the theme song for the original Dragon Ball that went, Goku, he's here to show you, he's here to help you find the way. Like, I said, like, I could never find that. And then everyone was saying, like, oh, there's another YouTuber or, like, streamer that says the exact same thing. So it's not a thing. It's actually a thing that exists. And then we found out it's just a separate dub that ended at that point. And that's just the one that aired in Canada. And then later on, the other English dub is the one that aired. And it did the rest of the series. So, yeah, but they did that, like, well after Z was done and translated, I think. Or dubbed. I keep saying translate, but I mean dubbed. Does that mean you didn't get the Android Saga and why the androids are after Goku? Yes, we never got that. It literally stopped with the Emperor Pilaf losing the first time. That's where Dragon Ball ended for us originally. I said, so we went Red from Ribbon. that to Z. Like, it was just fucking weird. Like... I at least knew who Yamcha and Puar were, and Oolong and Bulma. But then, like, that was it. Like, I didn't know who Tien was. I didn't know any of those other characters. I'm just like, what the fuck? It's like, you would not know, like, Didn't, didn't know who Piccolo was. Yeah. They were making a big deal out of him. It was fucking wild. All right. Thank you for that, Nintendo. Next up. We have come to draw you are boobas. Get the fuck out of my buru. What is happening in this picture? <laughs> it's from, fucking mean. From Devil7. One month later and I can sum up my experience here on the buru pretty well. Tabs on the internet browser are related, I swear. Ninja Turtles, Lukajin's Twitter handle, how big are Rosa John's boobs, and release the bogus Spark in Sparta remix. I haven't heard that in forever. Holy shit. Fucking Sparta remix. Also, I'm afraid God. to see what the Google search result is for that. Thanks, Devil7, I think. <laughs> Get the fuck out. <laughs> and the last one I have here is... Uh, Rhyme's dead. <laughs> Woo, one line! Now excuse me while I crash. Oh, congrats, you finally got a clean test. Oh my god, hopefully you are actually feeling better, Rhyme. Yay. I, I saw your Twitter, your Twitter updates where your whole family basically caught it. Oh man, hopefully the whole family's feeling better. Refresh check, and we are caught up. Let's see if this works, shall we? I guess we can just jump to the game. Uh, I don't know if this has a flashing light warning or not. I don't know if this is clean enough to run without glitches. Let's figure it out. Oh! I know why the rattling stopped, because the piece of plastic that was inside it fell out. I just picked it up off the ground. Oh, God. <laughs> sure you didn't need it, right? According to Google, the first thing to show up for how big Rose's boobs are is just the Johniverse wiki. That is fair. It makes sense, because of the Rosa John aspect. Yeah. 
Mmm. Loving that. Master Shy and the Drying Card. All right, so we've got um, we've got LHF PO times four. Are we gonna even attempt this? Do it. You you gotta try it. All right. Am I gonna play as one Plexter or three Plexter? I, I'm feeling kind of one Plexter right now. I guess we should try one Plexter. And then, oh, thanks I to got, let me let me actually change the game here. So thanks to Bindler, uh, Dirg. Was that at the bottom? It keeps flashing by so it, fast. It goes by so quick. I might, I might have to put a... I'll keep flashing light warning up here because I think that speaks for itself. Uh, Jinx Vin and Blunder Durdle from 1989. Blunder wow, that just goes away immediately. Holy shit. Right? It's just like, how the fuck am I supposed to read this? <laughs> you think I can read? Have I considered doing Punch Out Wii as a game clear? I've thought about it, but I remember the... The pro title defense fights all being awful. It will take multiple streams to do, more than likely. Uh, I can tell you, I did it on stream. Some streams were just like one or two. Like some streams were just like two or three fights at most. It was rough sometimes, but it was fun. It was a lot of just like learning the fights and their patterns and stuff. Because okay, some later so fights are okay. brutal. Okay, up is jump. Uh, B is fan, I think. Um, from what I saw looking on long plays for this, we have to collect eight what would normally be yin-yang symbols. Uh, fuck knows what they're gonna look like in this one, but I think they only appear if you shoot them, so I think we're gonna be shooting a lot of random locations looking for them. I appreciate this guy having, like, Zero's, like, cloning technique from Marvel vs. Capcom, and I guess hence Mega Man X, whatever it appears in. <laughs> I think this is the yin-yang symbol we're supposed to collect. We got three! <laughs> Yo, nice! Ah, good, the game is screaming at us now. Fantastic. Oh, it healed me. Okay. And I think I got a one-up. <laughs> it's more than just the game screaming by this point. I don't know how I'm gonna feel if this is actually the, the entire playthrough of this game we do. It's just this glitched-ass mess. It's on brand, I suppose. I guess. What are we going to do if we can't even see the boss we're supposed to kill? We go off instinct. Hey, whatever you are, get back here. Loving that noise. noise. Oh boy, I hope that stops! Oh, we find, like, stink bugs and, like, weird bats. A fairy, I think. What caused this? Well, a piece of the cartridge fell out, for one thing. Oh, it wasn't, it wasn't the actual, like, chip, at least. It was, like, the plastic shell, but, yeah. We got eight. Wee! Alright. There's the boss. It's a chicken man. It's, it's Al from Toy Story 2. I think it's supposed to be a tree. I can believe that actually being the case. But a small part of me really wants it to be Al from Al's Toy Barn. <laughs> <laughs> and we died! No. Now we're back. I live. I die. I live again. Live, die, repeat. I need to watch that movie actually. Renewed 3! Renewed 3! You know, it was like, uh, I think it was Edge of Tomorrow was the initial name of the release, and they just became Live, Die, Repeat, Edge of Tomorrow. Live, Die, Repeat is the actual, like, name of the original story, yeah. That is correct. So there'd be more uh, faithful in the end. I heard it was a legit good movie. Oh, that movie's actually pretty enjoyable, but, like, I've, I've heard the manga's, like, better, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that movie came out at a time where I had really bad anxiety about time loops, so I was like, nah, what? I'm good. Wait, what? It, really? Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the music is gone. And yeah, we don't need it. So is the HUD, actually. <laughs> don't need that either. <laughs> um... How bad is the audio, guys? Should I cut the audio? Or is it still low enough to be tolerable? 
How do you like the ringing of a beep in your ear? Leave that down there. John, why is my MMO glitching when I'm watching you? Oh, that's just how that works. I'm gonna go remix this real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, mm -hmm. have fun. Good luck. Oh, we found the HUD again. <laughs> it came back. Nice. We have located the HUD. We have three things. Oh, and it reset itself. The game literally reset itself. It was just sick of my shit. How? <laughs> Oh, all you need is kill. Oh, sorry, that's the actual name of the story. Sorry, I thought it was live, die, repeat. I think that's actually just a phrase that's in there. Or maybe it's a volume name. Uh, all right, well, let's run countermeasures for Constantine as we see if we can fix this cartridge. Something tells me that might not be doable. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have a backup. Just a hunch on that one. Oh boy. Be right back. Enjoy countermeasures in the meanwhile. Constantine DTW, thank you so much for the raid. I wonder how you feel about the time that you joined us, considering what was on screen at the time. Uh, I do have it. Oh, you do have it? Okay. So worst case, I'm just gonna switch to an emulated version. Let me quickly check my folder too, in case I have it in there. That way you don't even need right. to worry about sending it. Could not find it sadly. Oh, never mind. That hard drive doesn't even want to load. There we go. Something tells me we're probably just going to have to use the ROM if we want to actually play it. Since the cartridge seems to be bugged. Yeah, I do have it as well. Okay. Lol, I know what to expect when I come here. Fair enough. Good to know. It's just making sure. Yeah, to replace the cartridge? Probably. Color Dreams cartridges, unfortunately, don't hold up the best. Funny enough, I have the manual with this. I got the game and the manual, but I, like, don't have the case for it, the box. And other than the discoloration on the cartridge, like, it's not in bad shape. The circuits, circuitry seems fine. Which makes me wonder if there's, like, something internal that's bunged up. Why did you glitch my Arkham City? Oh, I'm sorry. It just happens. This was like way earlier, but my I played Fire Warriors Three Hopes earlier. My game crashed. I'm like, oh, okay. That's the first time I've seen this crash. Someone said their MMO they were playing glitch too during the stream. So it's crazy. Maybe the, maybe the glitch singularity is finally happening. Maybe I'll be free soon. <laughs> you just start lifting in the air. <laughs> Bye, guys. I transcend. Pop, if you don't mind me asking, actually, I was very curious on your comment earlier. Uh, 
if you don't feel like discussing it, we don't have to. I was a little curious on it, the one you mentioned, like the anxiety about time loops. Oh yeah, just uh, it, it's generalized yeah. anxiety disorder. So mm -hmm. like anything will set me off, and we fixed right. it. Yay! All right, let's see what goes this time. John versus Injustice. You know, Injustice kind of reminds me of, uh, was it The Boys? I've been hearing a lot of good things about that show. Yeah, apparently yeah, The Boys is a pretty good show. Again. I didn't realize Carl Urban was in that. I was, like, wondering what he'd been up to lately, because I hadn't heard much about him. Turns out, on The Boys. Yeah, I think he's the character... Who is he, actually? He's someone on that show. Why is Ryu I haven't watched here? it myself. Ryu, why are you here? Who is shooting you today? Malset kills Ryu with kindness and bullets and says, I have officially turned 26 two hours ago and I just woke up now. <laughs> well, better slightly late than never due to demand or never to demand the typical birthday luck. Happy birthday, Malset. Hope it ends up being a good one. Hope your sleep was good too. Yeah. A lot of glitches might be happening right now due to the solar storm that is scheduled to hit Earth right about now, which believe it or not, solar storms can cause disturbances in games like the N64. I mean Sure, but at the same time, it's me, so, like, this shit just kind of happens. I am the solar storm. Wasn't there a freak, like, solar storm or something that caused, like, a speedrun glitch to happen? Uh, yes, but I don't remember the full story behind that. I think it was Sunday it was either crazy SM64 it. or GoldenEye. People say it's the up warp and TikTok and TikTok clock. Yeah. TDC and. Oh God! Why is it still screaming? This is just a feature of the game. Why? <laughs> is it weird to say this game looks weird when it's normal? There's actually guess. a bounty to replicate that for the longest time, and nobody could do it. It was like a thousand bucks, right? Uh, I think it like crept up more than that, but. Yeah. Somewhere around there. And then they realize it was just literally, it requires a, like, a, a, a cosmic event to happen to activate. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think Tass could do it. That is fucking wild. It reminds me of how people start to, like, microwave their copies of Dragon Quest to, like, make that run faster or something insane like that. Not microwave, uh, heat it up through, like, a stove oven top thing. <laughs> I forgot, you're right, this is actually a thing. I fucking forgot. Oh, I hit the fetal position when I die. Amazing. <clears throat> nice. Those hot plates is what I'm seeing. For Dragon Quest 3. What a stupid way to speedrun that game. Fucking just just heat up your fucking cartridge. Put some fucking uh Tabasco on it while you're at it. Why not? <laughs> well they're not eating it. Eat up. <laughs> oh boy, plastic. Delicious. If you had to eat one non-edible thing, what would you try to eat? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. The sun! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. How you doing? Good. How is our sun? Our sun is sitting out on our sidewalk. Yeah. On the side of the house. Okay. Staring into the bush. That sounds like bagel. He doesn't want to come in. He's just staring into the bush. I have my answer. <laughs> Fucking right Popeye's right. biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, good. He doesn't have his collar on because of the medicine. Can you keep checking? I'll keep checking. Okay. We took a break recently, so. Because with the shots and everything, Okay. Uh, I'll keep looking, but it'll probably be between games because, like, we're not really doing breaks as much. Well, I just checked him now, so. Oh, because he's good for a bit? And he doesn't want to come in, so I don't know. I okay. just hope that he's fine. I'm sure he's fine. He's probably just out of it. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Hey, babe. Master Chu and the Drunkard Who. Ooh la la.
No, John, not the sun. Don't you know that the sun is a deadly laser? Don't you know this game is screaming at me? Why is this a fucking feature? I think that's supposed to be invincibility, that sound, by the way. I think so. That's a superpower I don't want to have. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Imagine nothing can hurt you, but you have to listen to that screeching sound every time you do literally anything. Can something drop health? That would be great. Oh, it actually did. Little man, come back here! Oh, thank you for the full health. Oh no, we didn't move on to a different game, we actually got it working. <laughs> this is the game. This is the game. Are you not entertained? By Master Chu and the Drunkard Who? The recommendation from Juker for <laughs> for lightning round? Are you not entertained? I was more entertained when it was broken. <laughs> you know what? That's entirely fair. Uh, I can accept that answer. So apparently this is ten stages long, but like some of the stages are literally just boss fights. So for references sake, that's what we gotta worry about here. But apparently, like I said, the uh, most long plays of this are about 15 minutes, which means it'll probably take us 25 or 30, somewhere in that range. And Juker said this game is pretty easy, like he was very confident we would be able to do it. It doesn't seem so bad. I'm just not sure what exactly I can shoot at times, because like... And then there's shit like that. The power of screaming. It's my favorite noise. I hope it never stops. I hate to disappoint uh, you. Uh, this is bullshit. Man, I wish the screams were more like a serious Sam scream. It'd be funnier then. <laughs> Just a... Uh... <laughs> uh, and fetal position. So we missed, we missed an item somewhere. There it is. We. Man, Wispy Woods is persistent. Sure is. Can you think of like your favorite Wispy Woods fight in any Kirby game? Oh, uh, shit. There's one where like, he... It's, it's, not, ahead, it's not 64, but it's something like that where he just like... It's like a nice fake out from like the normal Wispy fight. God, what is this guy's pattern? There we go. I've yet to play Robobot, actually, but I've heard people say that's a good one. I think, yeah, I think it might be Robobots I'm thinking of. Yeah, that's, that's, that's probably my, that is probably my next Kirby game that I'm going through. Beetle position, go! Like, people were talking about, like, oh, the 3DS eShop shutting down soonish, And I'm like, at least I got that already. <laughs> There's the key. Nice. Round four. God, I cannot hang on to these power-ups at all. Every time I grab one, I get immediately hit. Why are all these symbols in, like, the worst spots? Every hit, I lose my power-up, so... Every day I wake up! Put on a little makeup! Why'd you leave the keys up on the table? You wanted to. <laughs> Look, man, I don't think you trust 
my self-righteous suicide. I cry when angels deserve to die. I wish I knew what it works. <laughs> I don't want to pull them up because that's cheating. <laughs> I mean, you could. No, I lose honor if I do that. Ah, uh, yes, the honor like, of not knowing the lose. lyrics to Chop Suey by System of a Down. <laughs> yeah, dude. Meanwhile, half the chats just say, Table! Table, 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 table! That's too easy. Yeah, that song has a billion views on YouTube. Yeah, oh, dude. I believe it. It's a fucking good song. And then it got memed. It's kind of crazy when you think about how big of a deal it was for like a song to get a million views. Because I think that was like, what, Gangnam Style? That was the first one to ever get a billion? Yes. And then now, like, oh, there's a lot of videos with like a billion views. Fetal position. I think Juker might have been full of shit when he said this was going to be easy to beat. I think, uh... The only videos that have a billion views are, uh, songs. Probably. Uh, I'm very sure of that, yes. Round five. Oh my god, someone mentioned the parody song, I can only count to four. That one is very good. Oh, that <laughs> one's so good, dude. That was making the rounds on TikTok a while back, too. That was also, like, super entertaining there. Because that was where I, I saw it. Mm -hmm. I'll post it in chat. Obviously, don't play it on stream, but yeah, just for people to I watch it later. I can only count to four. I can only, I can count, only to count to four. It's a parody of "Let the Bodies Hit the Floor" for those wondering. That is correct. My drowning pool. Yeah. I don't know why the pool's drowning, but Dude, okay. I, I like. I can't hear that song anymore without thinking of the fucking Neil C.C. Rega remix with popcorn. Like you know the do 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 that one. He mixed uh, that song with popcorn, and I just can't fucking unhear. I can't hear the original song anymore because that's just that version of the song now. That is the main version of that song to me. See, when I hear Drowning Pool, I can't help but think of that era of Dragon Ball Z movies where they just constantly played like death metal over them. It was awesome, like the Cooler movie and the Broly movie and the slug movie it was just just like drowning pool and disturbed and stuff like that it was awesome <laughs> don't you lecture me with your 30 dollar haircut i honestly miss that air of dbz there's this last one <laughs> yeah the probably movie had pentera <laughs> yeah Fetal position. Shit, he didn't move. Why is Hihachi kicking my ass here? I used to say Hachi, huh? He's very short, though. Fetal position! I'm getting a little worried. I think we're fucked here. We've only got one life left, and we still have half the game left. They use the death tones in Cooler 1? Amazing. That sounds right. Yeah, that was uh, Cooler's Revenge was the first Cooler movie. See, like some breaking points, dust for life, American Pearl. That was that was just a cooler, I'm saying. I can really use some power-ups for taking on like these bosses. There we go. How do I get that without getting hurt? Ooh, oh, last I can resort. Apparently oh, stand oh. on that. Alright, neat. Nice. I don't know what I was standing on, but I'll take it. And yeah, uh, Papa Roach did Last Resort. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation. No bleeding. Don't give a fuck. Oh, no, I think I skipped a part. 
Yeah, it's okay. No, you just... You said... No bleeding, it's no breathing. No breathing, yeah. Don't give a fuck if I cut my... Cut myself bleeding, is that what the part goes? Cut my arm, I think? Uh, Something like that. <laughs> genuinely do not remember that. Like, uh, all I... Because all that really matters is the... Cut my life into pieces. Like, nothing else matters at that point. Hilariously enough, if you look up Papa Roach, the first thing that shows up is Last Resorts. It was yeah, their best sir. known song. One hit. Mm hmm. Were they like a one hit wonder? Like, were any of their other no. songs kind of big? They had other huge songs in the late 2000s, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Round uh, seven. That no, Days I'm... Come and Go song? Man, if we're talking about like that. Mm hmm. Think like if we're talking about the whole like that whole era of like rock and stuff, I'm never gonna forget Sum 41. Right, the greatest yeah. use I've ever seen of Sum 41 was in Godzilla: Final Wars, <laughs> where Godzilla fights the American Godzilla, and they just play uh, one of the Sum 41 songs in that scene, and it's fucking awesome. <laughs> Godzilla just annihilates American Godzilla with Sum 41 in the background. I think it's uh, "You Can Blame It All on Me" is what's playing. <laughs> It's fucking funny. The best part is I I think I remember this, so like I know he's not lying. That's the best part. Godzilla Final Wars is straight up one of my favorite movies. Like it's not something I talk about too often, but I love that movie. It's like how my buddy Neo King, like one of his favorite movies is the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movies. Yo, that movie's alright. Mighty Morphin, mm. the one with Ivan Ooze? Ivan Ooze is a great yeah. villain. He's so yeah. entertaining. <laughs> we actually watched that again recently. I was like, oh this movie's sick. Nice. <laughs> Uh oh. I don't want to take any damage. Oh, it just moves closer to me. That's convenient. Nice. Let me just move over to this door. I swear to God, if he could have jumped up here, I would have been furious. I cannot get in a position to actually hit him. Amazing. Without risking taking a hit. What is the point of all these edges if I literally cannot take advantage of it? Favorite Jackie Chan movie, go. Ooh, Rumble in the Bronx is a classic. So I probably gotta go with that. But I remember, was it uh, Jackie Chan's first strike or last strike? I think first strike is another one I remember fondly. I will admit, I've not seen too much Jackie Chan, so I'll say Rush Hour 1. Drunken Master for me. Drunken Master's good, good too. I want to watch, uh, oh God, what was it, like the Jackie Chan movie that was like an anime or manga adaptation? Police Academy? City, no, City no, Hunter. No, no, no. City Hunter is what you're City thinking Hunter, of. City Hunter. Yes. That's the one I want to watch at some point. That one's pretty good. That's the one that has the Street Fighter bit in it. Yep. Okay. Um. Final boss. Uh, I think we have a problem, though. Like, I, we don't have any more. Like, every stage up to this point is giving me a one up, except for this one. Uh, please tell me zero counts. The end. Continue. From where? Where was this? Was this? A, I think this is a stage back. I think so. Oh, yo, Jackie Chan Adventures is such a good show. Have a, have a emotes of Jackie Chan in the GBA game. <laughs> oh no, there's like a there's like a running series Jackie Chan did where he's like. He's like an adventurer, like an archaeologist, Indiana Jones style. What the hell was that one called? That was Jackie Chan Adventures. Was no, an it was a that. movie series. <laughs> Michael. Okay, sorry. <laughs> like the second one's technically like it released in North America was a prequel or something like that. Ah, uh, what the hell was it? Chan will probably know it, but I'm just trying to remember the name on my own. Operation Condor. Yes, that's it. I remember Operation Condor being really good. I thought the Rush Hour movies were fine. 
The first two are fine. Three is a uh, hmm. I don't think I ever watched three to be honest. Didn't three come out like years later though, or something like that? Wasn't one of those like spaced out ones? I think so. I just remember three not being super great. Like one's good, two is good as well. I recall. Shanghai Noon and and uh, what was the sequel to that? Shanghai Evening. No, it was like Shanghai Noon, and the second one was in London or something like that. So it had a slightly different name. Shanghai Night with a that K. That sounds right. That's what people are saying. Hayashi, why are you shooting so many fireballs? I've not actually seen the Kung Fu Panda movies. I want to. I want to watch at least like the first two at some point. Yeah, I haven't either, but I've heard they're decent. Yeah. Be right back. Don't worry. Right. Damn it, fetal position. No. Well, yeah, of course he was one hit away. All right, back to round eight. Oh, this dude's shooting too many fireballs. Oh my god. They're more like arrows to me. Well, you projectiles, I guess I just mean. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Oh. Oh god, no, there's another one. On the statue shooting up fireballs now, too. Well, that guy dropped a one up. And health spawned somehow. Round nine. Nice. It's just the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Against floating headman. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Drop the pearl. These things take so many fucking hits. Drop the power up, which I immediately lost because I lose it as soon as I get hit. That's annoying. Uh, round 10! Uh huh. It's the same thing again! <laughs> <laughs> Did they just run out of the budget? Did they have a budget? Good question. Okay. We're on stage 10 now. Oh. Wonderful. Two digits, alright. Shit! Of course he jumped. Aww. He's at invincibility! Pearl. Uh... What do I do now? <laughs> do I fight the statue? I think I do. Can't tell if I should be looking for a key or should I should be fighting the statue. It looks like there's the key. It. There's the key. Nice. Then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I guess that's it. And that was the ending. <laughs> Yay. Video games. Video games. Man, imagine doing all that with a glitched out game. Oh my god, I almost wish we could have. That would have been sick. That would have been so hard on the eyes, though. <laughs> that would have mm -hmm. been so hard on the eyes. <laughs> and the ears. That too. Okay, so despite everything, we've still beaten three games tonight, so let's see if we can get another one in. Uh, what do I want to pull? Actually, hang on. I got I got a text message I gotta check here first. Do you want to do like a chat poll to help you decide with the game? Oh, never mind. It is not an important text. 
Uh, hmm. We might be able to get two in if I play my cards right. But I don't know if I should. <clears throat> I'm curious what you mean by that. Mm, maybe we won't, because this game is a half hour. This one's 20 minutes. Mm. Do I have anything shorter than that? No, any arcade game was probably around the same length. Well, that might not be bad. Uh, hmm. All right. I'm going to let chat decide this, but I'm only going to tell you the system. I'm not going to tell you the game. I'm going to put up a poll for two minutes. I'm going to click away from this because that loop is not entertaining. <laughs> There we go. All right. I'm going to do a poll for you guys. Uh, what system are we playing? The options are NES, N64, and PS1. The poll is going to run for two minutes. If you're on mobile, load up your phone. I think there should either be a pop-up for it, or you might have to click the extension underneath the chat. I forget exactly how it works for mobile. Usually you should see a pop-up. But uh, if you're on desktop, you should just be able to see it uh, hovering over the chat currently. Ever beaten Super Punch at Arcade? No, because that one, I believe, uh, if you continue so many times, it kicks you out. It is a pop-up on mobile? Okay, cool. Well, why, while Chad is deciding on that, uh, let's see what Angelic Knighthood gets for the Wisdom of Duke Nukem. I am home. Or am I? Man, I want some of the new ones to show up. You know what? I'm going to run that one twice, because I want to I wanna get a new one. I'm only going to run it twice, though. I'm going to kill you till you die from it. Nope. All right. Well, you got two out of that one. Double deal. Did you play? Did you play the one that was redeemed earlier? I forget. Uh, that was Angelic Knighthoods. I'm pretty sure I did the one for Mirror Artist. All right. Just wondering. Yeah, people are saying I did. That second one is new. No, no. I've had that one for. We've done that one for a while. That was I'm the Shake It Baby it. one was the, the second one today. Mm -hmm. How many are in rotation you, right now? I think 35? You had like 20 something before, I recall, so you're definitely steadily growing your numbers D Draco there. gave me a bunch of fantastic ones. Nice. Uh, yeah, there are 35 in there currently. N64 won it with 58% of the vote, 166 votes. PS1 was second with 34%, 97 votes. And NES was 7% with 21 votes. I want a PS1, man. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to tell you what the games were for systems that didn't win because we might be using them next week because next week is going to also be a uh, lightning round. I guess I'll just do schedule for the week now in case anyone bounces out early. Schedule for the week, Tuesday, I'm going to be hanging over at Laughing Boy's stream because we're going to be playing some Mario Party. It's me, Popsky, Sarah Bear, and Laughing Boy. Wednesday is going to be Cookie Jar, so we're going to do some cookie rounds based off with, uh, using game choices that viewers sent in. So we're going to try to cut down on the pile a little bit there. Thursday is the usual top 10 perspective night. Friday's got nothing going on for me. And Saturday is good old fortune cookie. That I'm going to try to remember to actually start with Little Noah this time. Who will be in the cookie jar? I said it on cookie night, but if you give me a second, I'll get you the names again. 
I have the mod view open? No, I don't. Okay. I have. I already got a pop up. It's just under the chat here nice. for me. Uh, Scrapyard, Seder, Zekra 360, Somaria Moon, Battler 809, and the Video Game Raptor Boggle will be in round one. Round two will be uh, Game Master Tom, Colin the Game Boy, Tiger Tiger 413, Aelita, and Wolf Advanced. Round number three will be Hylian Media, Abnormal Plot, Yuki Mizuno, Rising Sun 98, and Raptoid 251. Round four will be Angel Night Rose, Amethyst Leslie, Flying Wolf Lowell, CK14500, and the Video Game Raptor Boggle. And if there is a fifth group, it will be Derek DTH, Spirit of Water Montaru, Blue William 8, Warrior of Fire, and Great Saber Catwoman. Those will all be options. Their options will be up uh, on Wednesday. You shouldn't be surprised with what game you chose. Rising Sun, what did you pick? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Yes, I'm not surprised. All right. Uh, let me go get the N64 game ready. Maniacal and Pop, give me a number between one and two. Oh, shit. Uh, one. Okay, one and two. Two. Fuck. <laughs> not, not much of an option here between one and two. Just, it's just one or the other. This game sucks, I blame you. I should have said three. I really should have said three. Was it an option? It wasn't. I could have inserted it as an option. Just gotta squeeze I should have picked right and. Here. Eight per round? No, on Cookie Jars is five. We could do eight, but uh hmm. I feel like I feel like the seven people in a round would be bummed out that they're kind of losing to other viewers, so that's why I try to keep it a bit more fair. Yeah. Well that would let us get caught up faster, so that's the trade-off. Mm hmm Not like we have like what, two hundred something entries? <laughs> two hundred and thirty? Two hundred and fifty maybe? Yeah. Somewhere Basically, if you put one in now, don't expect to see it until, like, November. <laughs> Maybe six. I mean, I could put it to vote to, on Wednesday and be like, yo, since some of you have, like, your options in here, do you want more options in here or do you want to keep the five per poll? I feel like because you have, like... I think I also mentioned at some point, I think we talked about on stream, like, moving it to six. Because I, I vaguely remember this discussion. Yeah. <laughs> Considering you have a dedicated night for it, I don't think doing six would be too bad an idea. Oh. Guess in the meantime, do you guys have any questions for us while we're waiting here for John? Tuesdays or Thursdays? Interesting question there. Maybe Thursdays, because it's kind of closer to the end of the week, where, like, more fun stuff tends to happen in the weekends. Best ice cream. Uh, I'm definitely a big fan of, like, chocolate, but I also find myself really liking, uh, Pistachio Almond, as well, is a really good choice. Alright, let me see here. If we're doing six games per choice, then, um, then it is entirely possible these people might hear their game come up, too. Uh, F-E-D-B-C-A. Illustrating Phoenix. Nux90. Guy you met online and diabetic bacon grease. It is possible those five may come up. It is not guaranteed on Wednesday, but it is possible. All right, 
let's see here. I got the game loaded in. Let's see the loads. I probably don't need flashing light warning anymore. And so I asked you guys to pick a number. And yes. I believe I heard one first. But it didn't matter. I just wanted to see if you knew your numbers because... Oh, I see what you're going for. Oh, I don't. Oh, shit. Yeah, of course, now. Now that I've done that, it's not going to fucking load. Oh, don't tell me you broke. Come on. Did this seriously fucking break on me? I hope not. Oh, well, here. If my N64 is not working, I know what always works when I don't want it to. Yeah. <laughs> N64 is not broke. Oh, because Superman works, because it always does. Why aren't you working, video game? You're in... Oh, no, you are dirty. What happened to you? I tested you. <laughs> well, it got dirty, I suppose. <laughs> I don't, know why Someone really I don't know why the fuck Superman always works. It's like I'm the only person who ever even played the fucking copy, so it just, by default, will always work just the fuck with me. Hmm. I saw someone earlier asking about an impulse buy I regret. Uh, which is an interesting question, actually, because... Hmm... I guess recently I decided, you know, oh, I was going to, like, order some food through, like, a DoorDash thing, right? So I did that, and I'm like, yeah, this is not worth the money. <laughs> so I guess I would say that was... Yeah, it was just, like, a sandwich and, like, some fries and stuff. I'm like, this is all right, but I don't know, man. I don't think this is worth, like, paying the money for, like, the delivery and, like, the... All the other stuff that goes with it. Plus, I think they actually mark up the prices a little bit because it's through their app. Which yep. is annoying. Mm-hmm. That tracks. So, yeah, I paid, like, a good 20 bucks for, like, a sandwich and some fries. I'm like, I don't feel good about this. Like, at all. <laughs> Alright, let me give this, the game a second to dry, because apparently I just didn't want to load. Is Ring Fit Adventure allowed as a cookie choice? I'm... I would rather not, because I do not like having to exercise during the stream. <laughs> that is not my idea of fun. But you'll play Wii Sports. I see how it is. I mean, Wii Sports literally doesn't need me sitting up. <laughs> that is also up. true. Uh, well, I guess while I'm waiting on this to dry, Colin the Game Boy says, I've been playing Banjo-Tooie alongside you and Luca because I've never 100%ed it. Just got to the final Canary Mary race and, uh, John, I'm sorry. Also, Luca, I'm sorry by proxy for likely having to edit a two-hour video. It's gonna be a thing. Mega Nerd says, so Dragon Quest V and VI on DS. Anyone have any information about rarity and average price of these two? With cons finally back, I'm returning to my collecting for DS and 3DS games because John's obsession is contagious. Uh, they're well in the few hundred range, I believe. For DS, I assume, uh, Canadian, oh, that's USD, actually, yeah. So USD for DS, loose card, $131, complete, $192, that's for Dragon Quest V. Dragon Quest VI for DS is cheaper, surprisingly. $76 for the loose cartridge, $111, uh, for complete. Those are US prices. Got it. Nice. Alright, so I asked you about I asked you to say numbers because we're about to learn. Yes. Yes. It's time for Elmo's number journey. I'm fucking hyped. Hog. Why does it look so bright? <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna fix itself. It's my it's my fucking my retro tank 5x is glitching. 
So uh, it it fades out of like super bright back to normal default colors. Okay. So now it's back to normal. Yeah, you know, John. I really need this lesson, so thank you for playing this. Oh, it got mad. It kicked me out. I'm so happy to see you. You picked the perfect day to visit. Let's go look for some numbers. Alright, let's go look for some numbers. Well, who would know about numbers other than the count? What are you counting? That's one. One fantastic parade of numbers. Ah, ah, ah. You love numbers, don't you, Count? Come along to my castle, and we shall do some serious counting. Ah, ah, ah. If you want to go to my castle, press one of these buttons. This is my glorious garden maze. There's quite a number of numbers inside. Ah, ah, ah. See if you can find all of the number fives, or find <laughs> five bats. I cannot believe this. <laughs> find all the fives or find five bats. Can do. Every button does this. Press, press the touch button. There is no camera control. There is just pressing the camera. Yeah, it's just always behind you. Yeah. Did Camille just mess with you? Oh, <laughs> yes, I still have that gift. I almost got it. Steven plays <laughs> on one of his extra live streams. Oh, I'm not surprised. Oh, that's nine bats. That is like fucking classic <laughs> gift with that like glitching out Grover. That's from Vine Sauce, isn't it? That is from Vine Sauce's video on this game. At least the the number one. Uh, sorry, the letter one. I thought number one that you're playing. Yes, I swear I know letters and numbers. I, I swear I'm not that stupid. <laughs> There's a balloon. I don't believe you. What does a balloon do? Nothing. I, just, I speak a lot. That's all. You don't know what it's like being me, John. <laughs> you have to keep up appearances. <laughs> What the fuck is this? Holy shit, what is that? I think that- Oh, did Mass Media do this game? No, it's New Kid Co. That's, like a, just, that's a giant elephant. Is it an elephant? I guess so, yeah. And I, 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 can't, I can't control the camera, so it's a little hard to show, but yeah, that is definitely an elephant. Oh, okay. Because from the front, it looked like a mandrake, I'll admit. <laughs> a fountain! Oh, oh boy, a fountain! I can't wait to play in it! Keep looking! I know there are hives in my garden. Hives! We got it! We got five fives! You heard him, chat? Five fives. Hives! Oh, right! Oh, right. Oh, I can use a D-pad. Sick. It's you know, not I any don't faster, but I can! Out of all numbers for you to get, I'm amazed it was the one that correlates with your brand. I know, of which all... means the next number we get is gonna be eight. Just to tie it all together. If it's if it's an eight, I'm giving you eight bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, count, don't let me down. Hi! I was I mean, expecting to have seen more bats than the two piles of nine we've seen so far. Get it! Digging the pear tree. Are, they, uh, are there any partridges there? What even is a partridge? That was a bird. It might be. You got that dinosaur? Bye, bats! Google it, bud. If you want to keep playing, press one of the buttons that are flashing now. 
You give me the no. If you want to go back to Sesame Street with memes, press this button. Can I get more? Uh, you are on hard mode, aren't Welcome you? Welcome to my oh. castle. Uh, uh, uh. You will find some of my very favorite numbers here. Please have a look around and pick up all of the number fives or find five bets. Okay, so I know for like with these kind of games, I think you just basically get two rows of the same number. Yeah. It has to be the next one. If that one's an eight, that's where the bet is held. <laughs> okay. I, wow, I played you got the, a lot uh, of bookshelves, Count. <laughs> needs to read somehow. Look, all, like Grover, Cookie Monster, and Big Bird, though. What do you think he learned how to count? <laughs> he read. He's he self-taught. <laughs> He's very educational. He's very yes. well, very well learned. Five. You got it right. Can we? Are there any like self-taught? I guess there are self-taught teachers if you think about it, like a, like a, like an educator. I mean, for the most part, but you, they do usually want you to have a GED. Of course, yeah. Oh my God! Look, what is that counts? Can you go back? <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. The camera's camera's bugging. He doesn't want to turn and see it. Oh, yeah, I got a different angle. Look at those stinky looking counts in that wall there. Yeah, the camera does not want to turn at all. Ooh, ooh la la. <laughs> a little stinky looking, yeah. John, at the last number, touch a non five and see what happens. No, because then I have to do this all over again. Probably. You would, I think. Five. Or actually, I think the game's like. Hey, I think, idiot, I think the green right. dots are how many mistakes I can make, is what I think those are. I think so. It's been a bit. Five. Got it. Seeing someone in chat mention Barney. Five. Did you see them making a. This is a weird thing to say. Live action Barney movie. I say that. Yeah, like, I saw that. I was just like, you, like you know that the show was live action, right? Like that. That's that's how that works. Bye. Yeah. So I'm like, why do you? Why have to specify live action Barney? Just just say the dinosaurs gonna be CGI. <laughs> It's that number. It's that number. <laughs> <laughs> Give an assist, touch it. That's what I ball, John. Oh, I have to do it five. Oh, sorry, I want to give you the answer. No, I had to do it one at a time. For how many times? How well do you know your numbers? Oh shit! Oh shit! It's getting harder! This is getting real, man. We're in the big leagues. The worst part is I'm gonna be goofing off at some point and get one of these wrong and we feel really, really embarrassed. <laughs> It's gonna happen. I'm just gonna be like not paying attention. I'll look at chat and I'll be like, oh shit. Five plus three is uh, 11. Whoa. What is the theoretical. Downtown! <laughs> Boom shaka laka. I just want shit out of here. Now I want to see Elmo just like basketball player sized. Just like really tall legs. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. Oh. I knew Guess Ernie I was there. Count on you. Uh, uh, uh. You got everything right. Yippee! Now let's go back to Sesame Street. Yeah. Ernie, like, Ernie looks like he's seen some shit. 
Kick your ass. We're back on Sesame Street. Ooh, Alma wonders what there is to see. Uh, we already hung out with Count. Hi, Alive. Live. Are you ready to count with Ernie? Hi, Ernie. Say, have you been to the Carnival of Numbers? Oh, I love carnivals. You do? Well, come with me. I'll take you there. If you'd like to go to the carnival in the park with me, press one of the action buttons. They're flashing now. God, I forgot Ernie's voice was basically just Kermit's. Take a chance. Yeah. Pick a number, but not just any number. <sighs> Dang. Find the number one, or find one balls. Find one balls. If you want to keep playing, <laughs> press Got one it. of these. One balls. The I already did this one. Yeah. Now. Thanks for the raid, Alive Gamer. Hopefully your stream was good, because you've come here for the best game of all! Elmo's Number Journey. I hope you know how that counts, because if you don't, you're going to learn today. Hey, you can do it. Keep your eyes open for those ones. All right, keep your eyes open one. for those ones, folks. Oh, one. Weird how this looks like the exact same area we're walking through, huh? Not even joking, like that's why I'm here. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Did you know that this is the number two and it's not two. the number one? Oops. Yep, that is my that is my mistake o meter over there. I can only make one more mistake. To camera, can you please? <laughs> you really want to see almost jowls? I did enjoy the <laughs> noise. That was pretty good. One. Oh, you killed the two, it knew what it did. I was six afraid of seven. One. We found it. Because it committed murder. Exactly. One. You got it right. You know those like uh, charts of like chaotic evil One. and stuff like that. Yeah. Where did you put the first nine <laughs> numbers of the alphabet? The like, first nine <laughs> numbers of the alphabet. The first nine numbers of the letters of the what is this called again? What are these things? Is there a co <laughs> letters? <laughs> no, numbers. Maniacal, my dude. Oh my god, oh no. My dude. <laughs> Maybe you <laughs> should go to bed. One. I I'll admit I didn't get I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. <laughs> it's showing. I believe you. Oh god. One. This stream has ruined me. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. One. If you want to keep playing, press one of these buttons. Oh, you Don't... better believe it, Ernie. Hey, I bet you're in the mood for a bumpy ride. <laughs> Look around for all the bumper cars with the number one. Or search for the cars that have one ball. I got one ball. Oh, this is way one. faster. This is way faster. One. <laughs> Please ask what I'm giving to Maniacal, and it's a picture of a, the letter F. Camille get, has given me an F. I think, I think that means you failed the test. I think so, yeah. I was actually a good student in school, actually. I, I always made like A's and B's. 
just spike okay. money, you know. <laughs> I just noticed that our mistake from earlier carried over, so we we actually have to be slightly careful because I might accidentally bump something else here. I can't even be moving at this speed always. This is way faster. It's way nicer. Oh, come on, Elmo. Don't give up on your number journey just yet. One. Wait, uh-oh. Uh-oh, we missed one. I missed one. <laughs> you did, you missed one. One. Missed one, one. That's the one I missed. It must be like close to the end here because like, is it the one balls? It's probably a one balls, but I didn't see a one balls. I've already picked up a couple one balls. Oh, there we go. It was behind that five and I couldn't see it. One. Oh, that's rude. Oh, Love it. So do I, Elmo. So do I. That's a bonus game. Bonus round. Yay! To get a ball, go to the bucket and press one of the option buttons. Ring the bell when you have the right number. If you want to take back a ball, honk the horn. Six plus two. Honk the horn if you want to take back a ball. No! Man, someone no! said, someone wanted me to keep throwing to see how many, if it could overflow, and I'm like, shit, I kind of want to do that. But I'm betting it stops at nine. I'm betting it stops at nine. I'm gonna Swish. see. I'm gonna see if it stops at nine. Swish. I hope it just keeps going. No, it does stop at nine. They thought of that. Aw. And I have to honk the horn. Okay, that's a pretty good horn sound. I'm gonna give it that. Oh, that's so generous too. Who's your favorite kid show, bro? Ooh, good question. I'm assuming we're not counting kind of like actual cartoons, we're talking like educational, or like to a point like Sesame Street was. Yeah, yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Um, um Bill Nye the Science it. Guy. Oh, good That's choice, good actually. I also remember liking Ghost Rider a lot. Like the song? I also like the song, but I like the show too. Fair enough. Eight. 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 Thinking about, like, I guess, Eight. educational Pokemon shows. Monster's there now. Good. 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 Yo. He, he looks Eight. a little weird. <laughs> I think I'd say uh, Between the Lions. Mine would probably be Zoom. Ooh, Beekman's World's a good choice, too. Beekman's World is great. Wishbone's a good choice. Mr. Rogers. What there is I don't know if Dragon Tales was educational. Cyber Chase, hang on a second. Oh, <laughs> cookie Monster. Those smell like the best cookies ever. Mm. Did Cookie Monster save one for Elmo? Uh, 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 no, but, but, but we can go to Cookie World <laughs> to get more. Cookie World sounds like fun. fun? Love this guy. Fun? You just wait and see how much fun. Come on! If you want to go to Cookie World with me, press one of these buttons. I love how animated he is. He's kind of great. Ooh, look at that river of chocolate. You <laughs> go down that river and find river all of the of chocolate. Threes or find three candies. All right, Elmo's probably dressed for this jet. Oh my God, this is a fucking jet ski. Look at it go. Holy shit, this is wave race, baby. Let's go. Three. <laughs> this is not a river of blood, Yuki. <laughs> Three. Well, Three. 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 This kicks ass. Three. Hell yeah, this kicks so Three. much ass, dude. Three. Cookie Monster is probably my favorite Muppet. Three. So I'll, I'm gonna confess something here about Sesame Street that's gonna sound really bad. 
for the longest time, I didn't know what Sesame Street puppets were. I thought they were just like people, right? Some some of the point out to me they were monsters. I'm like, they they are? I mean I knew Cookie Monster was a monster, obviously, but like I didn't know the others were. But what about Oscar? But, but I, I don't know, I just thought Oscar was just some guy in a trash can. I honestly didn't know they were monsters. Want to play? Like Cookie Monster's the only I thought was the actual monster. Now you ski. It was not until I think I was like in my twenties. Yeah, I get almost a monster. I thought he was just like a, a child. I, I mean, he is a child. He's a child monster. Yeah, I didn't know that though. <laughs> I, just, I just never put it together. Three. Three. I love this voice clip of him saying three. I know it's really good, dude. Oh man, look at these sick tricks Elmo's doing! Holy shit! Oh my god! It's fucking SSX now! Three. You got it right. Man, Elmo's three. really good at snowboarding. We James Earl Jones thought the Muppets were going to terrify children. I could see, some of them I could see. That. Ooh, that bonus round! Yay! To get a ball, go to the bucket and press one of the option buttons. Ring the bell when you have We have a five right alert. Is there a possibility of a three alert? I mean, the three ball, we have is. Two, what is the current two. three alert? Oh, oh that's that's cow. Ball. That's cow because it's moo. Um, so. I wouldn't mind putting a three in there somewhere, maybe. Like three, three, three. Maybe. Yeah, Holy three, three, shit, the rare Rosa! Oogie with the rare Rosa. No message on that one too. You get a prize. The prize is education. How many balls, John? From downtown! From downtown! From downtown! From downtown! Switch! Let's go on to the next problem! Three! Thirty-three dollars for a three alert? Uh, I'd probably, probably do three, three, three at that point, but I don't even know, like, would it just be Cookie Monster, like, animated and just say, like, three, 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 three! And it just keeps zooming in on his face or something? I guess we could do that. That could work, yeah. Maybe you could get a gif of how he was like animating earlier, like uh Oops, I just realized oh, I, I was actually why is that? Oh, because that's the wrong one. I just realized I was cutting off part of the screen this entire time. Oh, that's fine. We didn't miss much. Oh, I think that's the game. I think we won. That should be it, yes. That's why it's shooting sevens and twos at us. There's a three. 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 <laughs> Evil moment 37 with Cookie Monster's three over every parry. That'd be incredible. What? I saw someone say Evil moment 37, like the Justin Wong, like uh, <laughs> Chun-Li cat mesh. <laughs> but every parry is like Cookie Monster saying three. <laughs> this is fun! Yay! <laughs> and there's the credits! Yay! Yay! Alright, so here's the question. What's your favorite letter? P. <laughs> oh no. I'll be right back.
lot more people worked on this than I expected. I'm not gonna lie. I hope it's letter time. <laughs> but I feel like you've played the letter one on stream already. Uh, we have played it on stream before, but that was back in like 2013. Oh god, don't say that. 2013, 2014. <laughs> Why are there credits for Big Bird? He wasn't even in the game. Because <laughs> he's in the other version, like Grover. Oh, they just they just moved the get on both of them. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. There's no fucking way you've never cleared either of these games before. No, 100% true. Never cleared either of these games before. I basically, we played it on stream once, and then we went to the cookie. I think it was probably an impeach. What? <laughs> I know, shocking, right? I'm so happy to see you. I'm sure you are, Elmo. I'm sure you're excited <laughs> to go so on a letter adventure. He was so happy to see you, and you erased him from existence. <laughs> well, that's because I'm going to his other existence now. A parallel universe. A parallel universe where he wants to learn about letters instead. Welcome to Sesame Street Elmo's Letter Adventure, also on the N64. Finally. I love that I have both of these games boxed, by the way. Why? <laughs> because when I went to visit Emil, we went to like six or seven video game stores, and this, the first one I went to had both of them. I'm like, I gotta do it. I gotta fucking do it. Here, just to, just to show I'm not bullshitting. Oh, uh, no, I believe you. Oh, I know, but chat probably wants to see it regardless. Here is uh, Number Journey, which we just finished, and here's what we're about to play here now. Elmo's Letter Adventure. Ooh. Easy. Very reflective. Oh, that's because I got him in uh, in protectors. Oh yeah, Elmo. Okay, buddy. Doop, 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 doop. It's Ernie again! <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a difficulty slider again. <laughs> you know, if you really need it. Hi, Ernie. Hey, guess what? I know an underwater world filled with letters. Would you like to go there with me? An underwater adventure? Wow! If you'd like to come with me on an underwater, underwater adventure, adventure, press one of these buttons. The ones that are flashing. Please tell me you didn't break the bank for these games. I mean, oh, there. they weren't that expensive box from what I remember. Shoot. See if you can find the letter I. This game's not too bad, honestly. Like, I I remember, like, th this is the one I've played, actually. I did not play the number one. I. And, uh, it's cool stuff going on here. All right, John, what's your favorite I word? Iridescent. I. Good choice, good choice. Oh, Incantation. Ooh, Ooh really good one. Choice. I'm a big fan of uh, Inconceivable myself. Ooh, excellent choice. I get it. Incompetent, good choice. Good choice. Ignoramus. Solid choice is coming from chat. Because <laughs> bring it back, Iggy Iggy. <laughs> I love Good that there's Lord. just a recurring theme of me just playing like stupid child like children's educational games with friends. I'm glad this is just a thing I'm known for at times. I'm amazed mm -hmm. I haven't tried to pawn this off on TRG at some point, to be perfectly honest. Okay, you realize you gotta do that now, right? What okay, what educational game would I bring to TRG to do? Uh hmm. I mean, you could have these games. Uh you could have some of the jump starts, like Freddy Fish and all that. That's nice. Humongous. Or Humongous, sorry, yeah. Just pop the camera on, 
get a leapfrog and you're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Get, get him a leap, sir, and just, like, camcorder it. That's your April Fool's video. Perfect. Perfect. Hi. We got it! Donkey Kong Jr. Math. Interesting choice. Oh, yeah, that's true. That actually a has one. a multiplayer mode. If you mode. want to keep playing, press one of these buttons. The ones that are flashing now. Welcome to Mermaid I do not Manor. have a Sega Pico, okay, shockingly. Find all the letter I's. It'll be fun. Make Emil play the OG Jumpstart fourth grader, the scary one. <laughs> the scary one? Hang on. Hi. <laughs> you got it right. A lot of cues on Hi. the back. Oh, I love this game. That one difficult Rayman edutainment game? Oh, man. Hi. That would be funny if it wasn't just miserable because we couldn't beat it. <laughs> yeah, we all float down here. All this water. Hi. We found it. <laughs> DK Jr. Math is why he hasn't reappeared. He learned too much. Oh my god. Hi. You got it right. I understand the code now. It's all numbers. He went from DK to Jimmy Neutron Hi. in one fell swoop. <laughs> Are you saying that Jimmy Neutron is just DK Jr.'s evolved form? Have yes, actually. Hair? Yeah, oh, say the hair. That's a good point, that's a good point. He gained an education and learned how to speak. <laughs> speak in the human tongue, and now he is Jimmy Neutron. Hold on. Donkey Kong can do that, too. Well, that's true. He can sing, too. Ah, oh, you're right, actually, yeah. I should know this, actually, <laughs> of all people. <laughs> God, what a what 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 a trip the Donkey Kong Country television series is. Hi. Man, not, that is a mermaid. Yep, there are mermaids here. That is a mermaid Grover. Oh no, that's just just a blue mermaid. Eight. Eight. Hello. Eight. Ma'am, did you know you were shaped like the letter Eight. I or Eight. L? Eight. Both work. Good job, Eight. Stanley. Eight. I'm seeing someone mention nobody's hero. It is hilarious to me how many actually good songs there are in that series. Like not even like jokes. Like they're actually like well done. Like they're well sung and everything. Oh no, they had really good singers. Like it wasn't DK's VA like a backup singer for Aladdin or something like that, this or like the French version of Aladdin. Garrett, Wesley? Arcane, I can't believe you would choose what? now of all times to do this, but thank you for the gift well, so far. I look forward to meeting you. As we are again. drowning Elmo as he tries to learn about the letter I. I got a snorkel, He's, he'll be okay. We have to find the letter D to make the word Ah, uh, the fun part. Let's go! Ah, Tuck. Where's the F? Where's the F? Nuck. <laughs> Zuck. There's duck. I uh, Where is it? Yuck. Come on, Luck. give us an I'm, I'm betting it's not there. Look. Look. Oh, that's Ugh. the end. That's the end. Was there anything to the left? <laughs> Suck is arguably worse. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way they put it in there. They they knew. They probably got told, but yeah, that was it. Yeah. Children's Health and Workshop said like, don't don't do this, please. Like, don't you dare make an F this, an option. This is actually for kids. We did it! This is one of the few games actually rated EC early childhood. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. We well, both the Elmo games, yeah. To make the word ah, make. bake. All right, let's, let's see what we got go. here. Bake. Piece of cake. Cake. Nake. Yake. <laughs> Yake. Cake. Lake. Make a cake. I break it down, bitch. And sake. Or sake. Sake. Take the lake cake. We have to find the letter right. P to make the word pear. Let's go. 
Tear. Air. Give these people yeah. air. Eater. Yeah. I breathe, I breathe yeah. air all the time. Yeah. Here. Yeah. 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 It's pretty good, yeah. Let's, yeah. Go, let's go tell them about pay us, though. <laughs> this will be the voice you do the entire rest of the game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can do that if you want. We did it! Hello. It is Ami's time to teach you about the letters. It's time to learn about letters and numbers. Oh no, we learned about the numbers already. We're back to letters. I'm sorry. Great job. I knew you could do it. Apparently Donkey Kong is free to stream on a streaming service called Freebie. Found that out this morning. I think all the episodes are on YouTube anyways, but yeah. We're back on Sesame Street. You sounded like Arnie getting, was getting more progressively frightened by the words. Amazing. Alright, let's go hang out with Big Bird. Would you like to go to the alphabet farm and pick some letters with me? A visit to a real life farm? Oh boy! If you'd like to come with me to the farm, Press one of the flashing buttons. Okay. Welcome to the alphabet farm. I'm making alphabet soup, and I'm missing a very important Yo. ingredient. The letter Big Bird, I. blink if you Can need you help. help me find it? <laughs> I don't think Big Bird could ever blink, actually. Could he? I don't remember the I thought early versions I could. I remember if he could blink. Considering that's one person in a suit with their arms stretched up, I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh oh, Chat's saying he could? Okay. Okay, we're going to learn about the letter R today. He's got a little hook. R. And it's a little tiny like this. <laughs> this is a B. It is not an R, so don't pick it. R. We've got the next letter R, and we've got an F. It kind of looks like an R, but as if it was trying to, like... Like, lift up its arms, but they were very tiny, like a little T-Rex. It is not an R. You walk away from it. Don't pick it up! Don't do it! I know you're thinking about Elmo! Don't pick it up! Go back! Okay. Okay, okay. T turn, turn the camera. Yeah, the camera does it every time. I mean, that's basically what my... What my Arnold is. That's what Buff Tom basically sounds like Jorgen. Yeah. I like to scramble the letters! Losing my shit, John. Why are you doing this to me? Because it is late at night, and that is the best time to do this shit. <laughs> Good thing Arnold's hanging with Cookie Monkey. Put that cookie down. Those are my wife's cookies. Put them down now. I can also tell my voice is a little shot because I cannot hit the, the usual range. What's your favorite Arnold scream, John? Mine is still playing, Mr. Freeze and Batman and Robin. Oh. One of the flashing buttons. Oh shit. Um. Now it's time Why am I on a pogo stick? <laughs> Why not? Just bounce up to the trees and pick the letter R. It's you know who else likes poker sticks? What is that loud ass sound? What the fuck? It's a bird. I know that, but why is it so loud R. compared to everything else? It's a mating call, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I like how what, we have we have the lower case here now. We have to get the R. upper case. Mm -hmm. uh, but to answer the question, I'm trying to remember. It's either Conan the Barbarian or Red Sonia. Um, where uh, Arnold as Conan gets picked up and spun around. There's like a clip of him going like <laughs> as he's getting spun around. I don't know why that always makes me laugh. I love the gif of Conan being spun around with like the, the girl from the, Titanic. Like the girl from Titanic is so good. That's, that's <laughs> another great one. <laughs> so funny, dude. Oh, yay. What classics? I have it in one of my folders somewhere. I forget which one. Is that Conan the Destroyer? Where he fought the wizard monkey. Ah, oh, shit. I haven't seen Conan the Destroyer, so. That's why I thought it might have been Red Sonia. Red Sonia. Oh, 
movie night? Maybe. I, we gotta figure out what to do about movie right. nights. Like, oh, our usual server we can't use anymore. So, oh, we found a house. Right. Let's just use the Rocket League server. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of system down, remember the song Pogo? Yep. Bounce! Pogo, 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 Bounce! It's just. Let's go! I think, yes, I actually played it for Tim and Emil when we were driving around. Because I was just like, man, have you ever heard this system of down song before? Because it was like, it played Chop Suey when we were like flicking through randomly. And I was just like, you gotta listen to this Pogo song. And it's just, it's just so chaotic energy if you never heard it. Make the word vote. We have to find the letter C to make the word crab. Let's go. Would you like a zrab, a crab, an Arab, a grab, grab crab, a drab, a drab, or a drab? The drab crab. The drab crab grabs us. Grab something, I don't know. <laughs> you can grab what the hell he wants. It's a crab, what are you gonna do? And we're back to duck. I can't believe we've already repeated a word. Oh, give me the F. Give me the F. It's not gonna be there, dude. It's the same letters. I want it so badly. It's the same letters, I'm pretty sure. Oh. makes the word duck. You okay? Well, somewhere over there. Terrific job finding the missing letters. God, Grover looks so creepy. What the fuck? <laughs> What's wrong with him? I think it's it might be because of the um the retro tank, but like it's merging his arm and his body together. Oh god, I can see it actually. Have you ever seen the animated film that was a crossover between Xena Warrior Princess and Hercules? No, I have not. I grow over. Hello there, and welcome to my outer space exhibit. Would you like to travel with me and explore the alphabet in a whole new galaxy? The alphabet in outer space? Wow. If you want to come with me to outer space, press one of these buttons. See? The ones that are flashing? If you've never seen this gift before, this is one we have, and I'm pretty sure this was on a uh, Vine Sauce stream from, like, a corruption. Yes. <laughs> oh, hang on, I think I, think I, I probably should have let it restart here. There we go. He just slides in, zooms back, does the praising pose. <laughs> Praise the sun, Elmo. <laughs> Would you like to go to outer space? So incredible. That's a that's a legendary video. Welcome to the Alphabet Planet. Your mission is to find all the letter Y's. I, Grover, know you can do it. How are we I breathing mean, here, Grover? I mean, I'm I'm at least in a vehicle. The, the vehicle doesn't have protection. <laughs> Almost got it. Why? Wow. From downtown. From downtown. I can't believe we hit 90 minutes. Shocking. Boom shakalaka. I mean, we're gonna finish this up, then the stream's over, so... Mm -hmm. And once we finish this, we've actually beaten five games tonight! <laughs> nice. After a fucking hour of not getting anywhere in Double Dragon, we still beat five games tonight. I'll Unbelievable. Try and see if I can find... I'll, I'll try and see if I can find anything that's, like, on the shorter side. Like, Naruto was the only thing I really, like, had in mind. I'm actually wondering what we would have done if you guys had actually picked any of the other options, too. Because I don't know how short the PS1 would have been. It could, it potentially could be short, it potentially could be long, it just depends. I will say it was not an edutainment game. Oh, 
Oh, we sent someone back home. The rocket took off without us. Five is your standard record, should go for six. I mean, I didn't think we were gonna hit five tonight, to be perfectly honest. I specifically thought we were only gonna hit like four, if we were lucky. Because I had planned on doing a bunch of harder games, as you could tell with Sunset Riders and uh, and uh, Double Dragon, but we, we basically burned an hour on Double Dragon and then we had to restart Sunset Riders at least once, but we got lucky that game, a run of that game was under a half hour, so. If we hadn't if lost that hour to Double Dragon or beaten Double Dragon, we would have hit six tonight. Buttons. That is right. The ones that... <gasps> look. <gasps> look at all the letters here in the starry sky. Can you find the letter Ys? Why do these stars look like the pattern on Rose's pants? It's a sign. Of what? <laughs> Why? Look, Rosa as a child saw... Um... Sesame Street. She played this game specifically, actually. And she's like, okay, this is what I'm going... This is my destiny. <laughs> my destiny pattern. is to wear pants like this. Yes. We're actually on Rose's pants, someone just said. No, 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 no. <laughs> I know there's a blue orb down there, but no. God, there's aliens here? Where's the Mew bubble? <laughs> <laughs> ah, Pokemon Snap. Good game. Very, very arcadey. That was Destiny number one. Tits was Destiny number two. I fear what video game she was playing that taught her about that. Um, Tomb Raider. I was gonna say you could have said Dead or Alive Extreme Rage Volleyball, but I guess Tomb Raider also works. Stretch panic, goddamn. Sexy Parodius. Why is she playing all these games as a kid? Jesus, no wonder she turned out the way she did. <laughs> have you beaten any Tomb Raiders by chance, John? I have not played any Tomb Raider games. I've played a tiny bit of Tomb Raider 2, and that is it. Interesting. That's why right. I kept trying to get Tomb Raider on game clearing in the in the poll years, and it just never won. Yeah, I saw it. I played the new Pokemon Snap. It's, it's good. But you have a Tomb Raider memory card. I mean, yeah, I like Lara Croft. Yeah, she's cool. Pand. Yand. Wand. Or Wand. Hand. Mand. <laughs> Hand, and then what's the last one? Canned. Can't the K. We did it! H makes the word hand. We have to find the letter. Yeah, I didn't even play any of the, the 2013 the reboot word. games, even though I heard they were great. Let's go! Alright, we got we got Reef. Reef. Seaf. Weef. Leaf. That's boring. Eef. Chief and Heath. We did it! L makes the word leaf. Canned is actually a silent K word like that, so it's to and. Find the letter B to make the word book. Oh, Let's they just gave go. me the letter B right away, so book. Hook, cook, zook, zook, mook, duke, kook, duke, dookie, duke, <laughs> dookie, duke. Damn. come close to Duke at some point. Takes so long to get back over here. Good God. Yeah. We did it! B makes the word book. And that should be game. I am so proud of you. 
I knew you could do it. Good job. J P B Q N E Z A L Q again X P again L B we're running out we, there's plenty more letters guys W C K C again and that's it. That's all the letters in the alphabet. Spell your name now. I, there are barely any vowels in there. <laughs> Spell your name without vowels. I think that... I, was there any vowels there at all, actually? I don't think I saw a single one. I don't dude. think any vowels showed up. <laughs> yeah, so... J... It was a J, P, B, Q, N, E, Z... Oh, there was an E and A, apparently. N E A L Q X P L B W C K C. No, that's a different one. Now we can we can make a name out of the, those letters. I think just those letters I know spell my name A N. <laughs> All right, we take we take out the Z in the middle. We have Neil. There we go. <laughs> Off a of Wheel of Fortune bonus game letters. Yep, <laughs> no one's won a Wheel of Fortune with those letters. I give me a Q, a W, a Z. Uh, 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 Garrett, why are you this doing this? Thank you, but why are you doing this? Look at your left. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is this the quality content you wanted, Garrett? Do you well, did friends, you really want to go on a letter adventure and a number journey again. tonight? Welcome to Sesame Street. I'm so happy to see you. You picked the perfect day to visit. I sure did. I love Elmo. That somehow was five games tonight would be unbelievable. Hell yeah. Alrighty then. Slapping those into the list, that was four completes and one beat, just like we did last week, in the exact same order, I might add. The first game, both nights, has been a beat. The rest have been completes. So let's see how next week's go. Next week will be obviously the last of the uh, lightning rounds for a while. J August's theme is just probably going to be whatever I want because we're going to miss out on a bit of time in the beginning and potentially in the end. August might be a weird month for streams because uh, my mother-in-law is visiting. So at the very least, I think we might be off schedule, but we'll be doing streams at like weird hours, like the afternoon. It will depend. It will depend. Uh, but that puts us at 31 games beaten on stream so far this year. That's pretty good. At least I think that is the case. Let me double check that math. Yep, 31. I mean, that was at 21 before this month, uh, before we started lightning rounds, so we definitely have boosted the numbers a fair amount. Considering you've played five games each stream, yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. I guess beat him, but you get the idea. Gotta, gotta keep that momentum up. Five more next week, let's go. August is a weird month in general, apologies for any part of playing that. What did, what did you do to the month of August, Vice? <laughs> did you, did you just... Beat the shit out of it. See, Vice actually cursed uh, the, the month of August. Uh, as you know, they are a witch, actually, and uh, they put a curse on the world. So I, thanks, I, Vice. I'm that. assuming it, like it's more so because of the. Oh, they were born in. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Born in it, molded by it. Born in the darkness. I also figured the Virgo was from that, since Virgo, I figured, fell in in August, and it does. Speaking of dates, actually, uh, today, happy 25th anniversary to One Piece. Uh, that's pretty crazy. Jesus. Yeah, it's entering, like, the final, like, saga, though. They're like, yeah, it's probably gonna be done in the next, like, five years. Oh, no, Zach, man, tell me you put that on the brew. You did not. Oh, no, I'm just gonna show it here now, then. <laughs> Alright, 
I just went to Twitter and this is what the first thing I fucking saw. Okay. Zachman says, after watching Proton John's play Sesame Street Elmo's Letter Adventure and Elmo's Number Journey, I saw Grover's sprite and just had to do this. I am not sorry. Cool Grover facts! One day you'll have to answer for your actions and God may not be so merciful. <laughs> Holy shit. Have fun, everyone! I need that template, dude. I need that template so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe fix the apostrophe and facts. <laughs> but then, but then you got it. <laughs> We're all going to hell! Thanks for hanging out with Grover! I think I have a meme like that. No, keep it in there, it's funnier that way. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Alright. Let's... There's some interesting pieces in our plot! <clears throat> okay. Well, that's gonna do it for tonight, folks. We're gonna do the usual jam. We'll go through alerts, eggs, and then head on over to Art Block and out for the night. Tomorrow, Tuesday, I'm hanging out over at Laughing Boy LP's stream. We're gonna be playing some Mario Party Superstars. Popsy's gonna be there as well. Alongside Sarah yeah. Baron, obviously Laughing Boy. Uh, Wednesday is gonna be Cookie Jar, so we're gonna be playing through viewer choices that have been put in the cookie choices. So we're gonna be doing some polls, and we'll see what everyone wants to play. Thursday's Top 10 Perspective, we're at the usual place, twitch.tv slash top 10 perspective, and Saturday is good old regular fortune cookie. Uh, Egg-wise, what do we got here? Where do we stop? Looks like we stopped at Tyler Blob Yoshi. Sub-07 for 56, Silver Blaze for 30, WWK for 3, LAN144 for 13, XD002 for 8, still gifting a sub to Microwave Me for 69 minutes. Kopaka9726 for 55, Raptoid251 for 16, Shadow War for 61, President Dog for 61, thank you for your service. Still gifted a sub to Mr. Robbins. Garrett Arcane with the two big old gift sub bombs. You're freaking crazy, Garrett, but thank you all so much. And Dean Exus for 23. Thanks for seven, everybody. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people, which I have a bunch in here right now. Uh, there you yeah. go, John. That's for you. <laughs> Such a good video Plosky posted. <laughs> oh no, what did you do? Holy shit. What is that? It's the originator. Cool bug facts. Oh no. Okay, I've never seen this. Hang on, can I get this in? Cool bug facts. One day you will have to answer for your actions. And God may not be so merciful. Oh, okay, it's straight up from that. I've never seen that meme yeah. before. Same. The apostrophe is supposed to be there. Okay, fair enough. I had never seen that meme before, but that's a pretty good one. Welcome to everyone who benefited, and John, I'm just gonna do it again. I guarantee you won't know when, but it'll be a night I'm in chat again. Appreciate it, Garrett. Thank you so much. Have a good night, dude. Uh, where were we? I think that was eggs. All right, let's do quickly alerts as well. Uh, Clay Dog says, so many fives, I cannot stand looking at it. Make it stop! Yuki with the five, the 25 as well, saying memes. Derek DTH says eight. And then, let's try this again. Eight because they got the wrong one accidentally. If you're ever confused about the alerts, by the way, there's a, there's a cheat sheet under the stream. If you're on mobile, uh, go to the About tab, and that'll show that as well. Garrett Arcane says, I can only wonder how well games like this did back in the day. Also, I failed my journey to sub-bomb all of Normal Boots, so I will humbly just re-sub-bomb the ones I hit in the recent past. Well, it was it? Uh, are, I mean, current Normal Boots, I believe, uh, Lady Pelvic's streaming now, so you can hit her up, too. Thank you, Garrett. Appreciate it. And then another one from Garrett saying, Beating so many games in so short a time in comparison is no small feat. I'm glad that I was able to show up for at least a couple of them. Appreciate it. Again, uh, next Monday, we're going to try again. We'll, we'll see how many we can get in next week as well. I don't know if I'm going to do Double Dragon again. I might just uh, lick my wounds on that one and pick a different one. Or maybe do that during uh, August as like a revenge kind of thing. We'll see. Or I might just do it on my off time because apparently I still need to learn a bunch of that game. Eggwise, meanwhile, I got one from Cole, one from Camille, and one from No Limit. All videos. Oh my god, the thumbnail. <clears throat> I'm excited. From Cole, Elmo's words of wisdom, and this is the face that greeted me. 
So I'm sure it's going to be great. All right. Elmo is going to hunt you down. Thanks, Steven. Uh, Camille with no camera. Oh, hang on. No cameras were harmed. Beefaroo learns words. So, Beefaroo, can you tell what this word is? Hmm. E A K. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and no limit with maniacal learning letters. Oh my God, is this Muppet Babies? <laughs> It's like off limit. <laughs> for funny. Funky. For not. That's not an F for funny. That's an F for not being funny. Gosh. I thought my jokes would get an A. <laughs> Holy shit. I like Holy how shit. I'm just my al album. <laughs> you're, you're, you're fucking logo. <laughs> not even the avatar, just the fucking logo. <laughs> <laughs> Something funny about the album art being your like representative. That's my thing. You just tattooed your your name on your face. You just felt like it was a good idea. So and... John's the Kermits. It's the only voice out of them all I can do. To be fair, why am I fuzzy? <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! Thanks, no limit. All right, let's go to art block. Let me get this quickly uh, refreshed. See, a couple people went for the exact same joke, but I'm sure it'll still be good. Let's start off here with this one from Pickletron. Well, all the cool kids are doing it. Besides using their Amazon Prime account linked to their Twitch account for a free sub, I contributed to the alt of the month. Here is a Rosabot serving cookies, and Beefaroo really wants a cookie. Nice. How convenient that we just did a bunch of cookie uh, games with Cookie Monster in them. Twitch Prime. Twitch Prime. Thank you, Pickletron. I appreciate that Popsky's also Ralph, the musician out of the Muppets. Good choice there. Who the fuck is Ralph? <laughs> you don't remember Ralph? No, I I never really I never really watched Muppets admittedly. Oh, I've actually never the dog. I thought the brown animal. dog. Oh, the little dog dude. Okay. I, I need to actually watch you Muppets. Me, I, stuff. Like I got it right here. No, that is that is definitely Ralph. You know, some kind of like character. Oh yeah, no, you can see the face for a split second. That is that is definitely. I don't have a, Yeah, that is 100% Ralph. Ah, okay. And Skeeter's over there, and it looks like... Is that Gonzo in the back? Oh, that's definitely Gonzo. So, it means it's Gonzo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, thank you, Picklotron, for that. Next up... How big are Rosa John's boobs? Google says huge, but could be bigger. About... Eight. <laughs> About 8 billion and 815 results in 0.69 seconds. Rosa John's boobs slash size. People also search for Earth, Jupiter, and Venus, showing their size as well. People also ask, is Rosa John real? Where can I buy Tiger Brew? Does this does a Rosa John hoodie really cause breast expansion? I think Homer gets stupider every season. That's not a question, Professor. Popsky.bandcamp.com. Where's Beefroo's natural habitat? Where did Beefroo get a gun? Who's shooting Ryu? Where's what is the recipe for Jumini's cake? Oh, wait. Sorry, this, this is only Troy McClure's voice. That's not a question, Professor. Pantero says, bless the inspect element tool. Save Sir John! Save Sir John! <laughs> and yes, that is very edited. Thank you. Thank you, Pantero, for being dedicated and doing all of that. Holy shit. What? No. What? No. That's can... not edited. No, no, no. That's all natural search results. I can confirm the Rosa John hoodie does indeed cause breast expansion. I do feel you have to add something else into the mix there too for that to work. Breast I'm gonna go on, a, go on a limb there. Thank you, Pantero. Next up. Can you count the three? Why are you watching Sesame Street? <laughs> oh, never mind now, I get it. Pluto, what if Rosa Mom guest starred on Sesame Street? If only. Is she gonna lift up like three big birds because she's fucking ripped? Is that what's happening? <laughs> Thanks, Pluto. To be fair, I think you said your age earlier, and around that age, I was definitely like in college still watching like shit like this, like Dora the Explorer and stuff like that. Because like I, the person I was living with had a nephew, or had a nephew, had a, uh, a granddaughter that uh, was around the age to be watching that, but also. You also don't give a shit when you're in college, so you just watch the weirdest shit. So, this tracks. I feel that. Thanks, Pluto. 
Okay, so I might have added in weekly injections of estrogen, but I'm definitely getting some credit to the hoodie. I mean, I mean it amplifies, clearly. <sighs> so I did my <laughs> Yeah. Can verify. I'm, I'm glad that everyone is on the same same page of just like, in college, just don't give a fuck. Why is he making a cheese mask? Because he's trying to cosplay as Pikachu. Oh my god, I haven't even read the message yet. From Rhyme, I forget who and when exactly this was mentioned, but during one of my streams a few weeks ago, someone mentioned how the way I draw Beef Root now is sort of like the progression of how Pikachu was first drawn to how he is now. Thinking about it, it might have been my significant other who said that. I... Hmm, hang on. Hang on. Rhyme, I'm gonna skim for a second here. This might take a hot minute. Actually, you know what? It would make more sense to do the beef root tag than Rhyme's tag. Hang on. Probably, actually. Oh, that's... So does, like... So does the beef boy get, like, skinnier over time? Like, a Pikachu guy, like, went from, like, kind of fat to skinny? I mean, kinda. I, like, he's not all that different. I guess his legs are more pronounced now. Eh, I can sort of see it. I mean, the belly's smaller, too, because it's more rounded. Hmm. Yeah, I guess, that, I guess that tracks, actually. There you go. I can't wait for what Beefer grows up and he just looks like a pillarman from JoJo. <laughs> oh, no, we, that's Bufferoo. That's, that's oh, his adult right. form, is Bufferoo. I think also his brother. Thank you, Rhyme, for this very cute, very cute <laughs> Pikachu. Wait, was there a Mermaid Grover? We'll get to it later. Uh, from <laughs> Angels in the Window. So this was one of my childhood games, though I remember having the computer edition, where we had to boot up DOS in order to actually play it. Well, that game and Star Trek games as well. So I drew you as a Muppet. You're very welcome for the nightmare. I honestly thought from the thumbnail it was an ape escape ape, which are meant to look like Muppets, so kind of tracks. I guess that makes sense, actually. I never put two and two together. I want to thank you for the stream today, as I had to deal with a heck of a lot the past few days. Stuff that really lowered my self-esteem and probably has made my sleeping even worse because of the anxiety. Won't get into too much, but the stream really helped me relax and have a bit of laugh remembering the times me and my brother would play this together. No worries, Angel. Glad to be of service. And apparently, yeah, these games are on PS1 as well, and a bunch of other versions, so... I wonder how different they are, if at all. Thank you for the cute puppet. And now, what I'm sure everyone was really concerned about... From oh, Rhyme! Mondo God. Cool. That's right. This is only the Mondo third cool. time I've drawn a Muppet, and three for three, they've been weird. If anyone's Mondo searching for the first time I've drawn one, because it's not on the Buru, it was Gonzo, but as Genji from Overwatch, as requested <laughs> by my sister. Alright. That's kind of impressive, and also Garrett. Congrats on activating the Mondo Cool alert just as this picture showed up. Mondo Cool. Rhyme, you may have to post that one later. I kind of want to see that one. And what was the first one? I might have forgotten the first one. Would Dare clicking on the Sesame Street tag bring it up? I don't see Rhyme's art style. No, that's Chaos Agent. <laughs> there are some interesting pictures in this queue, though, I am noticing. <laughs> Holy shit, that long fucking Elmo, I love it. <laughs> long Elmo, I had forgotten about this one. Who, who, who drew that big bird pog? I have questions. <laughs> Sean, oh no, Prime, did I, if I only legit forgot something important, I'm sorry. 8,000 plus 8 equals 8,008. For Sagami Ito, what do you mean your version of Elmo's Letter Adventure isn't personalized? Nothing wrong with learning some larger numbers, right? Uh, this happened because I couldn't think of a background when Maniacal suggested doing an N64 aisle star uh, style art prompt. I regret nothing. For now. Use my, my earlier reference sheet to try and capture an N64 style easily, and I think it worked pretty well. I would regret having to stand there and throw 8,008 balls to just answer this question. <laughs> Right, that looks so miserable. <laughs> it takes so long. <laughs> it's, it's the cool. it's the next picture. What? I think from like uh, what you were looking at earlier. Oh, okay. Oh, there it is, right there. Oh, now oh it's God. on the Buru Lamau. Uh, for context, this was a thumbnail my sister paid for back in 2018 when she made Overwatch highlights. We kept joking that the beta design that eventually became both Genji and Hanzo was called Gonzo. Perfect. I mean, I was still asking about the other one, Prime. <laughs> I'm still asking about the first one you did. Or sorry, I guess the second one, because you said this was the first one. 
Also, I couldn't tell that's what that was from this thumbnail. That was, like a... that was like an ancient dragon, just but also Muppet related. So I almost thought it was like a like a dragon. Yeah. Like well, a, it is like a, a dragon because it's Genji's alt, but yeah. yeah. And actually, it's animal as well too. Spirit of the animal, animal, animal. <laughs> this is really well done. It was the Kermit doing a nya. I do not remember that. Dare I look for the Kermit tag on this stream? Which I apparently have typed in before based on that. <laughs> oh, there it is. There it is! <laughs> what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> you know, yeah. That was, that was October of last year. It wasn't even a year ago. <laughs> I God, I'm so eat. I'm so happy this is searchable. God bless the Buru and its searchability. Oh my God! Thanks to the people that have been tagging these so we can find these. <laughs> Those are all amazing rhyme. Holy shit! And the last piece I've got here, Elmo's letter adventure. B is for Booba from Princess Skylar. Reminder that I am not funny. I was originally going to do an egg doing my Elmo voice for this, but I already embarrassed myself this week doing my Peach voice. Also, B for could be bigger. Thank you, Skyler. <laughs> As a tagger, this is fine. All right, refresh check. And that's it, we're done so, folks. Thanks for hanging out tonight for this chaotic lightning round. What is our raid message? Oh, Zachman also put out that template, by the way. I just, I just retweeted it. Yeah, I saw the template's very good. Find one balls. I love video games. Bury me with my honey. I've been doing a lot of driving around Alberta. There is a town called Bigger. B-I-G-G-A-R. Oh my god, I have to go take a picture there. I have to go dressed as Rosa. The ABCs of Rosa. Ass, Booba, Cosmos. Wow. Uh, leaning towards... Bear Me With My Honey is pretty good, but I also really like Find One Balls. <laughs> Let's see who's live first before I commit to either of these. There's towns called Richard, Bruce, Andrew. Wow. Twist, is this like near where you are or near ish? Because I'm like, I feel like I recognize at least one of them on the drives I used to do to go visit my family. I know, I know where you are, Twist. I'm just trying to think of the small towns in that area. They're towards Lloydminster? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Alright, I could raid Andy Gaming Network. He's doing Sagat speedruns right now. He could probably use the, the advice of find one balls. Yeah, let's go hang out with Andy. Good choice. What version is he doing right now? It looks like hyper fighting, so he might actually need the distraction. <laughs> but he's playing a Sagat, so I can't imagine it's gonna be too brutal. Oh, nice, dude. Congrats on the new job. Hope you're enjoying it. I got a race today myself, actually. Ooh, congrats to you, too. Yee. Yeah. The reason that that's funny, I think, is only because the, the comment was not directed at me. That was in Mike Mate Oh, wow. Oh, I know who this is. Oh, there it is. Uh, Kairashi Draconis. We interrupt this, uh, oh my god. 
Okay, we're, we're, we're in the middle of the Proton, John, Raid, Host, something, one of the two, whatever he decides to do, chat. <laughs> I want to welcome everybody, you got the gift of the chopper. You he does the Arnold too, the everybody do it, yeah! Do the things, lift the weights, take your steroids, quick your three thin. <laughs> find one balls, I don't know what, find one balls, just one of them? <laughs> Why not go give, an, go give Andy some love, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at Laughing Boy Stream for Mario Most Party and Wednesday here two. for Cookie Jar. Good night, everybody. Uh, welcome to Bye. Bye. One balls. Only one. Put the cookie down. Find your one balls. Yeah. I wish my arm was better sometimes. It's not good to be fair, way. mine's not good. It is not good on purpose. <laughs> Maybe that's it, actually. Just don't be good with it. Just be funny. I mean, with I it. mean like, a good Arnold is just like, hello there. I talk a little more like this, put a little stress every now and then, and just say, like, more things like California and stuff like that. Like, that, this is <laughs> more like how he talks. But it's more fun to be like this and go, yeah! Yeah! End of stream. Goodbye. <laughs>